that was your notification for me. <laughs> uh -oh. And I think we're here. Victor's there already. Victor! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, I know I really can't see you, but you know what? It's close <laughs> enough. Close enough. Yes. Okay, I'm messing with my screens. I haven't done a live and I don't know how long. And so I made Rosemary come over here and hold my hand. <laughs> oh, you do wonderful. <laughs> Just don't ask me to hold that little pinky of yours. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting in the living room, you know, just kind of staring off into space. And Jason said, you know, are you are you gearing up for your live? And I said, yeah, I, you know, I have to prepare because it does. It makes me nervous. And he said, well, you know, you want me to help you? And I said, no, <laughs> <laughs> I surely, surely don't. <laughs> All I need you to do is sit in here and please don't burp or fart while I'm doing this. <laughs> and he said, well, you better shut the door and put a mattress up against it. <laughs> oh, no. Lots of help. <sighs> Crazy. Victor, I am so happy to see you. And I know everyone else is going to be happy too, because I swear I get an email or a Facebook message or something at least twice a week. Someone asking, have you heard from Victor? Is he okay? Is everything all right? What can we do for him? <laughs> <laughs> so everyone is completely tuned in to you and your country right now. <laughs> Y'all come on in, have a seat, grab something from the <laughs> concession stand. <laughs> Preferably with alcohol. Yes, whatever it takes. It's a little early for some people, but right. it's later for others. Nope. And we're going to, um, we're just going to do some stuff today. I don't yeah. know what, I don't have a huge plan. I've got, me and Rosemary both have our gel plates here, and we've got our alcohol inks, and we have pulled out our boogeriest paints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, Victor won't be here for long because um, he has to go to bed soon so that he can go to work. That's all right, Victor. You just hang around as long as you want to. And, um, I'm just so glad that you're here. For whatever time we have you so yeah we'll do some gel plate stuff i'll show you the neurographic doodles i've been doing uh -uh. Uh, i don't think i'm doing them quite right good uh, i don't know so yeah we can look at that and i was watching you know natasha over at um treasure books i was watching her channel this morning her she had a video for these paper flowers that you make from pleating strips of paper hmm. and which yeah it was really fascinating and you know she just goes shoop, 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 and she's got a flower and she did say you know it's not really as easy as it looks and then i started doing it <laughs> and boy how does she's right <laughs> It is not as easy as it looks, <laughs> but I can see, you know, this is going to be fun. It's going to be cool. And um, if I can figure out how to, to post a link in here without completely losing everybody, I'll do that. I think I put one down in the video description. There's a link to her video. I hope I did that. I meant to. Okay. So maybe we'll, we'll do that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Hey, K. 
Kat and Karen, Annie, Arlene, Stephanie, Emma, Julie. Whoa. The proper room. Come on. Rock room. Yeah. Uh, Joey Defee, Gail, Marsha, Patricia, Lucinda. Marsha, Marsha. Jan, Joni, and StreamYard. I'm at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> and Susan and Debbie. I'm so happy y'all could stop by. Really, really am. Um, okay, so here's what I have on my mind is that I've got a little bit of margin in my um, schedule now. Um, I better start doing something before I start talking or then people who watch the replay are like, oh my God, you talked for 20 minutes and didn't even do anything. Oh, good. Let's irritate them. <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll flip through <laughs> some of these gel prints while I'm talking. <laughs> these are some of the ones that I did on my last video and then after the video too because I've been doing these a lot and this is with the acrylic paints and alcoholics together on the plate so I'll flip through these while I'll tell you what I'm thinking in my head and some of these I've done two-sided because eventually I want to do them all two-sided because I want to make a book that's the grand plan right now but who knows how far I'll get with that but I think this has got to be my favorite one or one of my favorites because it's just so gunky and delightful. Anyway, oh, or this one. Ooh, we love the gunk factor. Yes. Victor, I did read your new post in the community. And I swear, every time you post updates and news, my jaw just drops. I just cannot believe what is happening over there. It's just... It, it, it seems surreal. Like, you know, this kind of thing isn't supposed to be happening in this day and age, but it is. Um, okay, so here's my idea, because I've got a little extra time at work. I now have Tuesdays are my day off, because I'm working less hours. I have two part-time jobs, and they don't equal a full-time job. They're both still very part-time. So they've become even more part-time recently because of some changes in the jobs. So I've got a little time on Tuesdays and I'm going to make that my art day or video day or whatever. So I'm going to, here's the plan. Tuesdays will be my day to film videos and or do a live stream. I'm thinking about trying to be live every Tuesday. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to pan out. And it won't even start for at least a couple of weeks because Jason's parents are coming to visit. And I don't want to, you know, start anything new while they're here because we're going to uh -oh. take time off to spend with them. So, but anyway, after that, I may start being live on Tuesdays with some regularity. And we'll just have to see how that goes because, <laughs> you know. I'm really good at making plans and not sticking to them. <laughs> so, Even when you're accountable, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's kind of what I'm thinking I might do. And then hopefully that will get me uploading videos more regularly. And then also being alive more often. So, okay, you can see how fabulous these are, these prints. I use book pages, I use music sheets, I use plain paper, and um, some of them are just, you know, great the way they are, and then some still need a little something. So, oh, Victor. Yeah, okay, so Victor has information that there is a chemical attack being planned by Russia and which to me is just too horrible to even think about all I can do is just pray <laughs> and just pray and pray that that does not happen that someone somewhere will put a stop to this before it gets to that point <laughs> okay so for Arlene's wondering what she's looking at over here 
<laughs> I'm watching Rosemary's Jelly Plate. <laughs> What's your jelly plate doing over there, Rosemary? I don't know. It's, it must get a little kissy face with each other, but they're two <laughs> <kind of> separated. Because <laughs> if you put the two jelly plates kissy face, they don't come apart too well. Oh, they so don't. I have to get x-rated. <laughs> So I'm keeping them separated. <laughs> oh, they start to, hey, push them out next to each other and see if you get one of those little plates that comes out, you know? Maybe it they'll already happened. It. it already happened last week. <laughs> <laughs> like bunnies, I tell you. That's why there's an inch, because I don't want another one of these. <laughs> Uh, so let's do some, let's do some stuff. Okay. I'm following your lead. I haven't done this, this goober thing. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done the goober with alcohol thing. I have to do it right. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put down some paint. Oh, I, I, can, I know how to do that. Yeah, you can do that. And this is a good time to use up your boogery weird paints, you know. And you can just sprayer that on. Oh, it probably helps if I go get my brayer. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> I have everything here like I'm really working eyes, like, oh, how do I spray the paint? Yeah, you're just sitting there waiting on me, like, come on, Shannon, do something. You don't even have your brayer. <laughs> oh no. And I have to get my anti-squeak lens because the ladies get really mad when I get my squeaky lens. Oh, true. They've all got an attitude problem with my brayer, so. This is true. I got to be careful. All right, so I got my brayer. And. So let me show you. I had those. I was using those little um, alcohol inks that I got at Tuesday morning the other day. Uh-huh. And then. I decided this morning I would pull out the big guns. <laughs> so I went in the room oh. and got my box of alcohol inks. And then these have been sitting in the garage through, you know, the really cold winter and then the really hot summer. So they kind of separated. So I turned them all upside down. Does this count? What? Does this count? Oh, yes. Those are the marabou ones that I can't stand. So yes. Use those. Can't those. I turned them upside down, you know, so that they would kind of mix together again because they separated, but I didn't bother to check that all the lids were on. <laughs> uh oh. So the whole bottom of the box. Oh my gosh. gosh. And look, it's it's all over me. Oh my goodness. That sounds about right for you, Shannon. It, it really does. And look, here's my gloves that I'm not wearing. <laughs> I gave up on gloves a long time ago. They don't work for me. Man, unless I'm working with something that's really caustic, which right, even then, you know, because when I do my rest stuff, I don't have my gloves on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the rest is natural. <laughs> I'm gonna turn these all right side up and hope that they've mixed themselves back up a little bit and that they've done something besides leak all over the bottom of the box. And a couple of them were empty, so I just squirted some alcohol in there to see if they would come back to life. Oh, yeah. see, look at that. It's oh just my. out. Oh, my. What? 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 <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. So that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me? You hear that little panicked... <laughs> <laughs> oh so we've got okay, so now you've got you've got me put stuff on my plate it's just sitting there what am i supposed to do with it well brayer it or something oh, or something okay well i don't know i don't know what this technique and tile i don't know i'm okay. making this up as i go and then it's been a couple of days since i did it so i've forgotten okay oh yeah i've got mine on here too drying oh boy okay. So well, you're talking about the wet paint, your paint. Whoa, oh, oh, this is perfect. 
Look at it has the goobers and everything. You've got boogers. Oh yes, and water and oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and because I put this on and then I ignored it and it kind of dried, I'm just gonna squirt it. This is alcohol. I've got alcohol in my sprayer, and then I've got a dropper bottle. And then I've got my alcohol inks, which we saw spilling everywhere. And you cut yours in half, your papers, or kind of sort of smaller? Yeah, I did, just because I wanted it to go all the way to the edge. Okay, I'll copy you. Okay, you copy me. Okay. Because I copy you all the time. I'll copy you with copy paper. So I'm just going to put this, which looks like green. Okay. Down. Like so. And then I'm going to spray some more. Or actually, I'll use my dropper bottle. Doesn't matter. And then you can let it run. Or you can. Oh, wait. I'm still cutting. Hold on. You're getting ahead of me. Oh, man. You know, the class always moves at the speed of the slowest student, and it's always you, isn't it? <laughs> always you. Okay. So, 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 okay. What color don't I like? Let me find some stuff here. Okay. Oh, any of the Mary Boo I don't like. So, okay. So, just squirt on some of the alcohol. Just drip, kind of drip it on. Ooh, yeah. I like it. Okay. And, and now. Then, yeah, and then you can add some more alcohol to spread it around, or you can brayer it around, or both. Oh. Just so that it's not too dotty. Little dropper doohickey thing in the jiggers here. Yeah. And then, you see, I've got a lot of windows if I'm doing that. And I'm wanting to kind of do the back of some pages. So I'm just going to kind of lift some of that alcohol off because there's a lot of it. Oh, dear. <laughs> what did you do? I kind of over alcoholed it. Yeah. Um, You're going to have to call AA on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like our alcohol. <laughs> oh, gosh, I can't breathe. <laughs> I Open gotta... a window. <laughs> well, my screen door is open. I guess that's not oh. enough. <laughs> oh, okay. The alcohol has fumes, so you know. We thought well, that already fumes. looks kind of cool. Yeah. Hello. Ta -da. You can see my paint had pretty much almost all dried. <laughs> but you know what? You can take because the alcohol is going to make it come up some more. You know. Yeah. So. Drunk jelly Ooh, plate. That's very right. Very rusty, guys. Oh, see, look, your very first one is perfect. Oh my gosh, Marabou's good for something. Yes, because Marabou is very sticky, and you want this to be sticky so that it gets all kind of gooberish. Yes, this is that that situation where you want it sticky and gross. Yeah, you want it to be. A stinking mess. That's not too bad. See, so, yeah, I think I would go and add more to this, but I'm going to let it dry and then just keep going. Uh oh, this has got a big goober. It won't even come out. Oh. Oh, jeez. And then you squeeze and it squirts everywhere. Well, it's pretty. Uh oh. Oh, it's. Oh, dear. <laughs> What does that even mean? Oh, dear. Look. <laughs> it, like, it won't move. Okay. Oh, spray it. it. Give it some alcohol. Give it, it some alcohol. See if it'll fit or water oh. or something and thin it out. Yeah, I think it's beyond thinning. I think it's oh. like a pancake. Okay, so let me just put some, some, something else. Yeah. There, then I'll pick it up and... Then we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, where was I? I'm right here. And I want some, I don't know. I want some of this. Oh, dear. I wanted the goober ones, but I think these are just got too much. Nothing's coming out of them. 
Have that goober chat. I think. Oh, no, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This was empty because I always use up my yellow. Oh dear. I think I better go get some normal paint. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Well, okay. I was <sighs> gonna say, yeah, cat, wear wear gloves because I just got the yellow all over me and thought, oh, I better put gloves on. But really, why bother now? Oh geez, look. And, it looks like a dauber. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's how, how does that even happen? <laughs> Come to my studio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Next. Okay, so this I reconstituted, so I don't even know if it's going to be yellow. I think this whole five-gallon bucket next to me is going to fill be filled with these that are no good. Wow. <laughs> well, you said you wanted to help me clean up my studio. Now, I did not say it quite like that. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that's what you said. I said I wanted your studio to be clean. I didn't say I wanted to do it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a this is a friend I did and just wasn't happy with, so I'm going to go over it. Okay, I'm still trying on my second one. Okay. <laughs> You're just still trying to get something to come out of your paint. Too. This is not reflective of what happens on my lives. <laughs> oh, look. Only when I come on with Shannon. Yeah, right. I kind of sort of normally know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say I can fake it better when I'm on my own. Yeah, okay. There you go. Or Susan yeah. makes me look good. That's it. That's it. It's Susan, it's that's the Susan's missing fault. factor. It's her fault. I can't yes. live without her. Don't worry, Susan fans. She was invited. But you know, they're out there buying all their stuff for their cool patio they're putting together. That'll be cool. Whoops. Yeah. So this this look gives you like really chippy, crusty effects, and Susan decided that that would be the name of um, mine and Rosemary's Roadshow. You know, on the road with chippy and crusty. <laughs> and we weren't quite sure who was who yet. We're no, but I'm still that. thinking I would like to be crusty. Okay. <laughs> I identify with crusty. <sighs> My husband's already looking at Vans. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, look. It's kind of cool. It's very cool. Okay, let me get rid of some other color of ink. And you can see, like, if I've got a naked spot, I just alcohol up and then rub the naked spot in it and then pick, pick some up. Okay, I got to get some other color besides this red. <laughs> I got enough reds. Let me clean this up a tiny bit. <laughs> we got to add another color. And I'm going to go with... I think these are going to look really cool in my jelly print book. They really are. Yeah, these will look really nice. I'm going to go for a nice neutral color like this. Oh, look. Neon line. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you're getting into it now. I like it. Yeah. Oh. It looks a little bit like my living room. <laughs> <laughs> I just the whole lid came off. How did that happen? Oh. Okay. Um, these are so 
I've got so much gunk all over. I can't read what the color is. Oh, Lord. It's red. Ooh, Kat said she just got some um, alcohol inks at Tuesday morning. My Tuesday morning doesn't sell any art supplies anymore at all. You no, know, I had heard that that was going to be the case, but I want to have nothing. Is it some stores? My understanding was that they were going to transition into just like home goods type of stuff. Yeah. So um, I had asked my the lady that works at mine because she's been the same one there forever. Yeah. And this was like last year. And she says, oh, no, they're cutting back on all of that. Um, they have like a little spot like that of napkins when it used to be like practically the whole aisle. Oh, the, wow. Um, place where they have anything that has to do with artsy kind of stuff whether it's sewing or paint or paper or whatever it used to be like two long aisles yeah now, all of those are in one half of one side of an aisle so that means you know there's nothing there <laughs> and i haven't been there in over a year so I'm sure there's less now, but there was absolutely nothing last time I went. And she said there was going to be less and less. They're cutting back. Oh, so I thought, well, no need for me to come back here. Yeah. <laughs> Big old dang waste of time. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. I'm out of here. Well, Kat, I'm glad you picked up some of that alcohol ink there because that I got that too. And I <laughs> almost used it up. Those three packs. <laughs> you better go back and get some more before there's no more. Well, I can't because I got one of each of the three or four different packs that they have. So I need to go back and get the one with the yellow because that's the color I always use up. Because yellow what fixes everything. Uses up is yellow. Yeah. I have to fill up my yellow before anything else on my printer. Ooh, that red just kind of overtook everything again. <laughs> <laughs> Crime scene. Uh, all right, let's see what color of alcohol is on there. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, some kind of a weird green. See, I'm not used to reading. Oh. Oh. I'm going to just say, I'm not used to reading because Susan reads for me, and there she is. Where? Where? She's in the chat. Oh, yeah. Why isn't she in here? She may not be home. Oh, dang it. Are you home, Susan? If you're home, get your link. <laughs> we you need you. Her? <laughs> Are you home? Yeah, because we need you to read the chat to us. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it. <laughs> Somebody, please come in and read the chat to us. We know where we're deficient. <laughs> That's right. We know our strengths. We're that is shy. it. We're not shy about it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Now, what kind of, ooh, let's put some kind of weird, weird green or something. Oh, she's at still at the garden center. They are going to have the most coolest backyard. I'm going to be so jealous. They've already got all their outdoor furniture. She oh, got wow. a um, uh, a water fountain system thingamajigger. Oh. Um, she's got these beautiful red um, cushions. They're going to be getting the curtains to close in, like the patio in the back. And she's going to invite us over <laughs> and cook us a barbecue. Oh, she doesn't, but Betty does. Okay. Betty's barbecue. Betty. I mean, she's the everything, not just, I shouldn't say barbecue. She's She does 
I well, I'm gonna get in trouble with Susan. I was gonna say she does most of the cooking. Well, I think she does <laughs> the most, but not to say that Susan isn't also a good cook. Yeah, it's, that's the plan. Is that she works full time, so yes, she's not a cooker. Yep, there is that. <laughs> she works more than full time. <laughs> oh, look at that. Let's see. Oh Chippy-itis. my Chippy Itis. Look at that. That's kind of awesome. Hi, Kyo. Woohoo. You oh. know, I need, I've got some metallic alcohol ink in here somewhere. Ooh, orange and green. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm using the metallic. Um, that was with um aquamarine. Oh, yeah. Victor wants to know if you have a plan for those papers that you're making right now. I am thinking about binding them into a book. That's why I want them. I want to do front and back so that when I fold them to put them in the book, there's something interesting on both sides. That's my plan. Now, that book is just in my bed right now. That's the only place where it lives. So we'll just have to see how that goes. And I'll show you too about doing two-sided when you're doing this. Because you want to be careful because alcohol inks soak through your paper. Oh, that turned out kind of cool actually. It wants purple. Why does it want purple? I don't know, but don't argue with it. It wants purple. It wants what it wants. It wants what it wants. Yeah. So if you're, if you, you know, you've got one of your prints here and you want to do the back side, go either really light on the alcohol ink or don't put any at all because it will soak through. And then you'll get that color on your front side too. That's just way more blue than I really wanted. Oh, I wanted purple. Well, no wonder. Not more than I want. <laughs> Okay, pay attention, Shannon. Um, I'm just going to spray a little bit of alcohol and then do my back side. And then I might take a piece hey, of Mommy. wax paper. There's my friend Tammy. Miss Tammy. Oh, this one came out kind of cool, too. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of nice. It needs more color because it's all blue. But see, nothing sunk through. So I like the little bit of red that it's pulling up. So let me put a little bit on there and I'll probably make a mess of it, but that's okay. I want. Uh oh. Goober. Gooberness. I forgot. Oh, oh, right. We'll come out of there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, where's that gold? Here it is. This has been sitting for a while, and I can see that it's separated in the bottle. Okay, let me see if I can shake it up without shaking alcohol and color of my room. <laughs> Like a wet dog? Yeah. It sounded like a wet dog, too. A little bit. I can't get the lid off. <laughs> no. Please don't make me have to go ask Jason. Hey, chippy chippy. Oh. Got it, got it, got it. Let me see. Oh, yeah. You're getting good chippy chippies. I think so. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. It's coming out gold. Okay. Oh. Did you hear that rip off? <laughs> <laughs> like a sticky band-aid. Yep. That was a good sound. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Whoa, hello. Okay, next color. All right, so I was very fortunate yesterday or day before, whenever day it was, I went over to get some paper at Hobby Lobby. So then I thought, uh oh, I need some black paint. So I ran over there real quick. And those of you that like color shift, and those of you that know what they cost, the little small one like this is like five dollars. All right, which is how many ounces? Two ounces. Then they have the four ounce one, which is like I don't know, like ten bucks. Look, two twenty nine. Oh, was that with the paint or was it on the clearance? What did you just say? Was it with the paints or was it on the clearance part? It was where the paints are, but they are on just a few colors. They had a whole bunch of colors, you know, in the big bottle. But these were the only two colors that I saw that were on clearance. Oh. On the regular so I didn't care. You no. Know? So let's put some on there. I covet your color shift paints. The only thing I don't like about the biggie ones is then you got to find something to put the paint on the plate because they don't squirt out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's the only, you know, only complaint. But I'm not going to complain for $2.29 about anything. Right. Shut up, Rosemary. Shut up. Hi, Kathy. Happy to see you. Hey, Kathy. And little sister Cheryl is crafting. Woohoo! So, yeah, that was this week, you guys. So, I don't know when it went on, if it's been on there for a while, and I just, you know, don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't. Which know. wouldn't be the first time I don't know what's going on. Oh, speaking of what's going on, Shannon, how's yeah. that going? The one that. Well, you know, the one that has that number. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What? The ones that took over the other place where you used to work. Oh, the store? Um, yeah. How is that? Or is it still open? Or You know, as far as I know, I haven't heard much from them. I haven't seen much from them. Huh. Um, I mean, I've, it looks to me like they're still open and active. Uh-huh. I honestly don't know. I've just kind of fallen out of touch with them. Not yeah. for any reason other than just, you yeah, know, life and busy working. Yeah. So that one I don't know about. Um, there's the new art supply store here in Fayetteville. Uh-oh. Yeah, Sleet City. I did a little video of just a few things that I picked up there. Cute, cute, cute place. So I'm excited about it. And I don't know what art supplies are in my town. Ever. No, well, isn't yeah, art supplies? Is, what's that? Isn't Fort Smith the art mecca of Northwest Arkansas? Wasn't that the plan? <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. Oh my gosh. We got so much mileage out of that one. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Bless their heart. Exactly. God love them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still remember the, the look I gave my husband. I said, you really believe that, right? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, the mayor does. I go, oh, my God. Oh. What an idiot. <laughs> Ooh, I'll ask him. Huh. I made something. I need some of this. Yay! There's Jamie and Janet. Hey, girl. Oh, no, Jamie's here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to look up. I better keep looking up. We have to every now and then because, you know, there's no Susan. Okay, so Kathy wants to know, what is that stuff you're rubbing all over the paper? I don't know what that question means. That you are using to rub over the paper. Am I rubbing something on paper? I don't know. That's why I said I'm not sure what that means. I'm rubbing on the gel plate. Did I rub? Oh, are you talking about this? 
Oh, hello. I didn't know you were using that. Okay. This is a baron. Yeah, I'm sure that's Yeah, right. it's used for um, print making, but it's just good just to, to push stuff down. and. It's not it. Austrian, though. No. No, it's not Austrian. No. Okay. I want... I want something to go on here. I don't know what I want. I want this. Okay, now I need to put some alcohol colors on that one. Victor, I am planning to be here probably two hours. I don't know. With Rosemary here, we could go on all day. You, know, you just never know. We could get into all kinds of trouble. We could lose track of time. And we could do a tour of my rest garden. We could. Yeah. You just haven't lived until you've been to Rosemary's studio. Well, when it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leslie. I didn't see Leslie's name up there either till now. Oops. Oh, yeah. That's what it needed. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that looks cool. That nice. I like that. It's kind of funny to me because, you know, like sometimes people who do a lot of gel printing, like they put on their layers and they kind of know pretty much how it's going to turn out because they've done it so many times and they know which layers come up first. And this one kind of defies all that because the alcohol eats through the layers. Yes. So you're just not quite sure what's going to happen. That's right. Or I'm not anyway. Someone else. And you, I mean, and you don't want to know, do you? I no, mean, I love the part. surprise. Yeah, that's the fun part. Sometimes it's it's awesome. Sometimes it's not quite so awesome. But you just add more paint, and it fixes not quite awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, what a mess, but I kind of like it. Maybe I don't want to fix it up. I want some of those circles. Sometimes I like the circles, and then sometimes, to me, they just look like wounds or open sores. Or... Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. We're doing a, a kit soon that might need that. <laughs> 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 this book page has an illustration on it, sort of. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Wonder what that'll do. <gasps> Is Victor leaving? Bye, Victor. Bye, Victor. I'm so glad he could stop in. Oh, well, that's interesting. So it needs more, something lighter because it has so much dark in the background. I'm going to let that dry a minute and then put something else on it. Oops. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How is your plate so clean? You think it's clean? Is it? No. Okay. Well, good, because my eyes were looking at it going, your plate looks kind of clean. Oh, okay. no. Okay. It's permanently yuck color. Oh, God, mine is too. And I've been watching videos, and people, they're either using brand new plates, or they've got some kind of plate that doesn't stain. What's up with that? Do you know what I'm talking I about? No, but I don't want one because it looks like you've never done anything with it. <laughs> I, I like it, you know. So let's go. Oh man, she uses her plate. Look at that. It's stuff. like it's like Over. dirty hands and chewed up fingers. Yeah, you know yeah. those yeah. long manicured hands. You know, I'm just convinced she they must just work really hard at working with that plate. You yeah. Know? As opposed to oh, she never has touched that plate before. Look how pretty <laughs> it is. How prissy can you get? <laughs> oh. 
think that was just entirely too much yellow. Hmm. I'm so glad you gave me an idea for these caribou things. I'm oh, excited. me too. I'm excited. Yeah, I was just thinking about you. <laughs> Oh, How can I make Rosemary's life easier? That's right. What can I do today to ease her burdens? <laughs> <laughs> and get rid of all her goobers. All at the same time. Oh, okay. This, this yeah. Is a disaster. Well, that's not coming out. I'm starting to get super gummy. Uh-oh. Is that good or bad? Well, it just means that I could tear my paper really easy, which, depending on your perspective, could be good or bad. Oh, okay. Okay, Janet uses hand sanitizer and baby oil to clean hers, and it works good. Well, awesome. good for you. I've used, I use some hand sanitizer on occasion. I've never, ever put baby oil on my plate. And I don't think I ever will. <laughs> I'm just like, what's that going to do next time I put paint on there? I don't know. I don't want it. You don't want to know, right? Yeah. Hey, but it might give it a cool resist or something. It could. You maybe miss it. What if it just resists the whole thing? It's the next big thing, you know? Yeah. We'll be behind the curve again. That's right. Oh, yeah. See, I knew it was getting gummy. Look, gooey. look at that. That's fab. That's fab, fab. Um, neon pink with the green. I like that. Oh, ooh, I got some good boogers happening. Can y'all see it? It's like dangling. And <laughs> Yeah. Uncle Gail is coming to the defense of the baby oil slash mineral oil. Oh, okay. Learn yeah. me. What do I need to know about it? Well, they're saying it doesn't do any resist. It cleans. It does its job. Okay. So now we're we got two teams going. Okay. Good to know. One pro, one against. To baby oil or not to Who baby oil? Whose side are you on is what I want to know. I'm on the side of the laziest people. <laughs> <laughs> Who just forget to clean their plate, <laughs> shove it in the corner. <laughs> I have never been good with taking care of my uh -oh. art. Now, if you want your, your plate to be shapely, Darcy says you need to put that on there because that's how it comes. So to keep it in good shape, you have to replenish it. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, okay. I'm ready to an plate. plate. <laughs> Maybe if I get a new plate, I'll treat it right. I've had this one for eons, and I'm afraid <laughs> that if I do, you know, like I if I go into shop and try to make it. Yeah, it's like if I wash my car, it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> I can't do that. My car would not survive a wash. <laughs> All right, let's try. Oh, I know. I have these other ones back here. The cheapy ones. Oh my gosh, I always forget about these. Anna, you want to get yourself some color shift. Kind of kind of sort of color shift, but yeah. not as good a quality as the color shift. So color shift. This brand right here, Shuttle Art, you get this whole thing for like the price of two or three of those other ones. And do they shift colors? Shift. Oh yeah, they shift. They uh their colors are a little different. Let's I'll use these right now so you can see what they look like. And where do you get those? I got that on Amazon. Amazon. The, whoa, okay, these were upside down and look what happened. See. Can you see the color? You can already see the shift, the oh, shiftiness yeah. of it all. It's shifty, all right. It's shifty. <laughs> and then the lids, you know, the lids show you the color. Woo. There you go. Very cool.
Oh, let me see. Mm, what color do I want right now? So I've always got a brown and, and I never use it. Do you use browns on your plate at all? Uh-huh. I don't know how. Do you just have to use it with other browns? Because it doesn't really lack other colors. Um, I use it sometimes with um, metallics, with gold and silver and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And they play well together. Of course. Okay. I'm going to do that once I get a clean spot. Oh, here's some of these. What are these? Spectrum Noir. I think these are reinkers for some of their markers, or they mm -hmm. are. No. Alcohol ink. It's just alcohol ink. Where did I get these? I don't know. And what are those called again, Rosemary? Are you referring to um you referring to the cheapy shifters? <laughs> Shifty shifters. They are by Shuttle Art and they're called color change. Oh. So these are what I would call like you know, second grade. <laughs> yeah. Although, you know, it depends what you use them for. And um, and then the ones by folk art, I would say, are the A grade. But for the price and to play around with it to see if you even like it, you know, working with the color shift, I I I think that's good. I would definitely pick those up. You get more for your money, and if you don't know the difference, you don't know the difference. Yeah. Whoa, gummy time! Ooh, look, I've got some. I got gummy. I got some gummy alcohol something. Oh, look at that. It looks like you're looking under a microscope. Oh, yeah. Marvelous. You're going to get a lot of mileage out of this technique, Rosemary. I guess so. The ladies don't know, but we're going to be doing like a, a cowgirl one. Ooh. And this looks like, you know, paint off a barn. Yes. It looks very westerny ish. If you, if you look at it from that angle, you can, you can play with it that way. So, yeah. They don't know. I guess they know now the ones that are here. <laughs> no one knows now. <laughs> we're too busy working on the mugshot right now. Did you see the mugshot we're doing this month? I know you're busy. I did. I saw a picture or maybe a thumbnail or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I loved it. It's going to be so fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Janet, for sharing links and all that. You're always so good about that. It was so funny, you guys, when Shannon would come over to my studio and after she had left, if nobody knew the seating arrangements, everybody knew where Shannon had sit because she would have the biggest mess. <laughs> <laughs> I put the craft paper, you know, over my table. And Which it was is a very like good her, thing. It was like her own work of art along the whole <laughs> table. It's so funny. There'd be like six people there. <laughs> Everyone's place was either perfectly clean or had a tiny little smudge. Mine looked like this. <laughs> yeah, because most people tend to put their paint on their artwork <laughs> as opposed to Shannon. She likes to leave her artwork <laughs> at whoever studio she's visiting. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one. Hmm. Jamie, 
I'm telling you, these, yeah, these brayer off pages end up looking pretty darn cool. I've got several in the works down here somewhere. A lot of these have some light over them, but look. Yeah, those need to be saved and, and treasured. Uh oh. A little too much of the. A little too much of the alcohol. <laughs> I can tell. Ask how I can tell. <laughs> what does this one want? I think it wants blue. And maybe. I this one. <laughs> oh hey, come on. Hi, Tamar. <laughs> you are going to choke to death over there. And I'm going to feel kind of bad. It's funny because I can't even, sm oh, I was going to say, I can't even smell it. But you ladies know what happened to my nose. You know what happened to my nose? What happened to your nose? Oh, my goodness. I have one of those, one of those nose stories. Okay. Whoa, so no. Okay. So, oh, look how cool that looks. Oh, I like that. Um, oh, thank you, Evelyn. Do I press my papers to flatten? Um, sometimes I do. Most of the time, I don't. Oh, I don't, on my mood. I don't press nothing. You don't press nothing? Nothing. Sometimes I do just, I mean, it's not so much for the sake of the paper. I just like earning paper. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just I, I get I buy this paper from Amy. She is like the master coffee slash tea slash any kind of dyed, just plain dyed paper. Yeah. And so I uh, I've learned that it's more cost effective for me to buy it from her than all the time it takes me to do it to put in my journals. And um, she irons every single one. She does. And. I told um, and so some of us said, don't iron ours. We don't want them ironed. We want them all floppy and crunchy and wobbly and jiggly. And you know, so now she goes, don't iron all of them because Rosemary's gonna get mad. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. buy them if you iron them. <laughs> yeah, I do not iron my clothes ever. <laughs> but you do your <laughs> but I will iron my paper. <laughs> Oh, uh oh, what did Jamie do now? Jamie's did something. We won't what believe her. Do? I don't know. What, what now? Is. What now? <laughs> we know it's a good one. What did she do now? There is no telling. Uh oh, Tammy's leaving. Say goodbye to Tammy. Bye, Tammy. Thanks for being here. Oh, she's talking about my nose. <laughs> I didn't tell it yet. Oh, I got distracted. Okay. Oh, you got okay. squirreled. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my nose. All right. <laughs> so, um, I know that I can pick up a 40 pound bag of dog food. I do that all the time and I get the dog food for my doggies. Okay. So then lately the ladies that follow me, they know that I've been um, um, getting into feeding my birds. All my birds here know me. I go outside. I whistle a little tune. Birds from all over the place come over and they sit there on my little fence waiting for me to put the little seed and they're all happy happy so they've gotten used to me i've gotten used to them so now i have to go buy big bags of bird seed because i've got hundreds of birds <laughs> <laughs> to eat my bird seed all right so i graduated you know like five pound ten pound all this stuff so the last one i got or this with the nose incident i got a 50 pound bag oh so I'm going to go get the 50 pound bag out. And I realized, oh man, that's putting a little stress on my back. Maybe I better go get the, um, the dolly so that I can mm -hmm. put it on the dolly. And I can just roll it, you know, where I need to go take it. Sure. So I did that and I took it over. You have to understand, you, you know, 
from my garage. It takes me up into my back porch, but then I have to go down three steps from my back porch to get into the area of the yard between my studio and my house. Okay, yeah. so I was fine all the way to the porch, all the way to the three steps. And I thought, you know, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on um, these steps with these going clunk, clunk, clunk. Um, so I just pulled down the 50 pound bag onto the ground, which was fine because that was easy. It was going down. Yeah. And then I took the dolly down to the ground there and I went to go put, I situated the dolly. Little did I know that the dolly, the way it was on the ground was at a little bit of an angle because of a little rock or something. So when I situated it and got the 50 pound bag, lifted it up a tiny bit off the ground, a couple of inches to put it onto the base of the dolly. The whole dolly went whack and hit me across the nose. <laughs> you laugh. How dare you laugh? I'm sorry. That was my first natural instinct was to laugh. <laughs> and it went, I mean, it could not have hit me any right across. It could not have hit Whoa. me at just like that sweet point on my nose. It was like it was meant to be. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I instantly saw stars all over the place. My husband was on the porch and he, and I go, Richard, because he didn't see any of this happen. Um, and he goes, what? I said, get me some ice cubes now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. And he's at me. I know. And of course, you know, how's he supposed to know I'm there asking like, what, what do you want ice cubes for? You know, he doesn't see any, any need for him to run to get me any ice cubes. I said, now. And he goes, what are you talking about? I said, I whacked my nose. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 so he runs in there and he can't, and, you know, cause now he's nervous, right? Right. So he comes out with some kind of bag of something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it on my nose and, um, it actually it only swelled a little bit um, compared to how it felt and what happened. You know? <laughs> and I thought, man, I can take anyone on. You know, if I can take a whack of a 40, 50 pound <laughs> metal bar, whack the kid. You could take head, a punch like that. <laughs> I could handle anything. Okay, so that was, I'm not exaggerating. That must have been over a month, month and a half. I don't know. I still can't breathe through my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I smell like I've got a stuffed nose or a runny nose or like I have an allergy or something. I bet you needed your septum big time. But, and then, well, they said too, was that when you get whacked like that, I went to the doctor in, um, even though, well, she said I, I did crack, not crack, but anyway, I, I basically broke my nose. You broke your nose. And, yeah. um, but um, what really, the reason why it's still hard for me to breathe and everything is because she says when things like that happen, the interior part of your nose swells up enormously. And she says it can sometimes take months for that swelling to go down. You may not see swelling outside. She says, but what you're what you're feeling, you know, the fact that you can't breathe like a full breath in right? because of all the swelling inside of your nose. Wow. So it's still really hard for me to, to um, take a good deep breath. Without yeah. like, ow, 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 you know? <laughs> <laughs> but the things. <laughs> Man. Oh, Gail got Gail wrote in there. You probably have a deviated septum, and it took her on a time out. <laughs> but she said deviated. Little deviate. <laughs> I'll let her show. Here we go. Yeah, you deviate, you. Oh, that's so funny. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'll teach you. So anyway, so now. Every time um, I go feed the little birdies, I have my little thing of bird seed that I'm throwing out there. And I look at them and I said, you better enjoy this food. <laughs> you better enjoy this food because... You're going to have to start walking around in a helmet, you know? <laughs> well, the helmet wouldn't help my nose, would it? 
<laughs> well, like a like the football players, you know, with the face. Oh, like a nose guard type thing. Yeah, yeah they probably do. Pants in front of it. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh! And then my husband felt so bad. He goes, yeah. "I said, well, it's not your fault." He goes, "Well, I should have been helping you with that." I said, "Yeah, but you're used to me just grabbing the dog food, so you figure right. what's, what's ten pounds more." <laughs> Oh, trust me, 10 pounds more. <laughs> Any difference. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, your birds. Um, you better appreciate that. Color on the business. Um, Malika, the um acrylic is best, but you can use anything. Like if you were if you um if you get your uh if you put watercolors on there and then you spray your um your watercolor paper and put it on. It looks beautiful. It really does. It's just that most people use the acrylic because of it being permanent. And we do so much of us do collage work with these papers. So we want it to be permanent, but definitely you can use anything you want. Yeah. Heck yeah. So anyway, so yeah, that's my bird, my bird seed story. And how long ago was that? uh time flies maybe uh, -huh. uh maybe uh, two months no more than two months and you're still not right oh no wow it can take a long time and i go what do you mean by a long time now <laughs> here's the doctor's answer a long time <laughs> i said thank you for your education <laughs> oh, gosh that's funny <laughs> She says, you're going to sound like you've been snorting cocaine all your life. I go, okay. Awesome. <laughs> oh, great. Well, I said we were going to do all kinds of things today, but I'm kind of in the zone here. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I know. Oh. Ooh, look at that yumminess. Yeah. It kind of looks um oh that's pretty. It looks rusty, right? It does. I'm not, I'm not gonna put any more on that one because I uh -oh. like it. Yeah. Don't touch it, it's perfect. I like that one. I'm not gonna do that. <gasps> oh Gail had to have surgery. She got hit with a bat. That's what it felt oh, like. Yeah. Oh, man. It felt like, I mean, well, then you know exactly how this felt. It was like, it was sort of like, okay, do I just like fall down to the ground from the pain or do I have to stick my head up and put my head back so, <laughs> so that the blood doesn't like go down my throat or go down? My, what do I do? I never done this before. <laughs> oh, and it did bleed. <laughs> About that part, <laughs> I don't. I didn't care about the blood. It was the pain. <laughs> the pain, like bleed all you want, but make the pain go away. Arlene said we need to make a gif of me laughing about your nose tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Gut reaction, you know. <laughs> oh my gut. <laughs> oh. Ooh, this one looks kind of cool too. It's got all the little chippy stuff. Okay. Different colors, just like cleaning off the plate. That's what it looks the best. Yeah. I know. I kept thinking mine's going to get gummy and I'll have to clean my plate off and then I'll switch to some earth tones, but I'm not there yet. Yeah. I haven't cleaned mine off completely yet either. It just, it came off on one of the pools and it just made it look really cool. Yeah. So. Whoa. Oh, oh, goober alert. Goober alert. Okay. Jamie, you got to try it and then you got to film it. What, whacking her nose? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what she needs to try. <laughs> Yeah, it was not um 
So if you're going to put anything on a dolly, please make sure it's on totally flat ground before you go packing something onto it. Because then you're going to be in big trouble. Live and learn. Ooh, coipel. Amethyst. Okay. Let's do some amethyst. <laughs> But those little birds are so cute because I feed them. Well, I just now bought, I haven't put it up. I was going to do it probably either today or tomorrow. Um, I didn't have like a quote unquote bird feeder. My bird feeder was throwing it on the uh, pebble walkway that I have here. And so they would all come and all kinds of birds would come. And, and, and so they got used to it. And if I deviated... <laughs> um, at all from the time that I give it to them, they would come here to the little back porch of my studio and and perch there on this little fence I have on my deck, looking in like, hey, what's going on? Where's the food? You know? <laughs> so then I would go out there and feed them in and they'd all come around. So now I've got the squirrels back there trying to eat the bird food. I've got um, the bunnies that come around and they're they're chomping on the bird food, and now I have this rat that comes out from underneath my house. Yes. And he's eating the bird food. You're like you're like um, Snow White, <laughs> you know. That's what Susan says. Yeah, they just it's coming in. So it's now it's like, shoulder. okay, how do I get rid of the rat without the bunny accidentally <laughs> eating the poison? And I'm going, I can't do that to the bunny. Um, and I told I told my husband, he says, well, if you keep feeding it, then it'll stay out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, there's a thought. Well, this is true. So it's so funny. And it and I can't take I I've tried and tried to take a picture or a, or a movie of it, and it's really hard because. As soon as I get into a range that I could actually take the picture, one of the birds will get startled and then they all fly, you know? Oh, yeah. And so uh, it's, I'm going to have to like set something up out there so I can take a photograph or something. I'm not sure what to do, but I would love because it's so funny. You've got the bunny there chomping away on little grasses <laughs> that are close by. You got you know the rat out there eating the little food from the birds and the birds like you know getting each other and oh and the squirrels chomping on stuff he hid who knows when it's just so funny oh that one came out kind of cool oh i like that one that's nice shannon thank you i like it too Yeah, we so have funny. One. We're doing the same thing, and you keep going toward a color scheme, and I keep going. <laughs> <color scheme>. Funny. <laughs> yeah, I this just keep adding you, more color. Just when you think something's random, you realize it's not random. Not really. <laughs> not really. So we have a little bird feeder in our yard. We put those black sunflower seeds in it. Uh huh. And the birds come and they eat. But our favorite is the hummingbirds. Yeah. Because, yeah, we put up a hummingbird feeder, and then those little guys just fight to the death. They are nasty. They are vicious. And it's like our own personal little hummingbird MMA match going on. And exactly. <laughs> me and Jason so, are rooting for the ones that's going to win. I mean, they draw blood on each other. They do. They're vicious little things. Yeah. For how cute they are, they're nasty. Right. Yeah. Reminds me of those mean girls at school. <laughs> <laughs> Real pretty to look at, but not yeah, very real cute, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. I'm not crazy about that one. I'm just put that to a side to add something to it. All right. I think I need to get a new batch of colors. I've kind of 
used those up already. And let's see, what is over here? Ooh, just plain old red, red. Now see, okay, to me, this does not look like red. It uh, looks tomato-y. Yes. But to me, if it says just plain red, it should be red. It unless be like they have a another kind of goofy name with it. But no. Whoops. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That that's oh, that's not red. Who are they fooling? Look, it's orange. Oh, those people lie. They lie. Windsor Newton, don't you think they would know what a color is? Well, one would think. You would think. I think I'm going to clean off. I think clean I'm going to clean off. And then, and then. This. Now I'm just going to do a, a lift, a cleaning lift, a cleansing. Oh, do we have to watch the cleansing? <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of nasty. You may turn away for the cleansing. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I usually stick my paper to the plate anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. And and um, in case anybody's asked anything, we're not trying to be at least I maybe Shannon's trying to be rude, but I'm not trying to be rude because I'm used to other people reading for me. So make sure you put things in capitals if you're asking oh, you something. Yes, please. Um, I might be able. I might be able to see the capital. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you've asked something in the past hour and we ignored we you, ignored you, please ask again and put Keep it. In asking. Here. Keep asking. Woo! Because I'm sure Shannon loves to share her knowledge because she's got it. She's the little it. bit that I have. I don't mind sharing. But it's hard for me to do this and watch the. I have like nothing but. I don't know how people do it. People who can stream and read their. <laughs> yes, Jamie goes. Uh, where's Popo today? <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone's going. Oh, what's wrong? What are you doing all without Popo? <laughs> yeah, we're we're missing Popo I'm today. Not without Popo, where is she? Um. Yeah, she's out having fun buying a bunch of stuff at the garden center. They're really going to make their backyard look really super cool and their patio area. So that's where they are right now, spending money, spending big bucks. That's yeah, what they're doing. Awesome. I told her, we need pictures. Yes. She showed me the before. She had other patio furniture back there that they've had for a while and she wanted some different stuff. So they've got like, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's wrought iron or just metal. I'm not sure. Um, and then these really beautiful red cushions. I was so jealous. And then some kind of water feature thingamajigger. They already have that. So they're getting, I think, like um, some kind of curtainy type thing to halfway enclose the back patio and some plants and, you know, all the fun stuff that you do in springtime. Well, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to have to live stream from <laughs> her back, <Yeah. laughs> back deck. <laughs> oh, she came in and said hello earlier, but she's busy. Um, hey, Patricia. Patricia's here. Hey, Patricia. Hello, hello. hello. Yeah, when I invited Rosemary, I was really wanting Susan. <laughs> That's right. Because, you know, <laughs> it was to be a package deal. She was using me to get to Susan. And when she found out Susan couldn't exactly. come, she wasn't sure how to back out. Of well, I know. I couldn't gracefully say, oh, I don't need you now. Well, can you come maybe when Susan can come? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Maybe we can do this another weekend and then she pops up live. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yippee i okay yay. Look at that one. That'll work really good. And then she shows up and she gets insulted and laughed at my <laughs> injury. <laughs> Oh, that's fun for Rosemary today. <laughs> oh, how come Rosemary's here and Bubba's not? Come on, come on. <laughs> Give me a break. I told Susan I should change my chams of the Popo show. <laughs> the I'm, just, show? I'm just a straight man to the Popo show. Oh, she's kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, she could totally hold her own. Oh yeah. Hold her own thing. She doesn't need anybody. Yep. Well, I take that back. I think she needs she does I think she she plays off of other stuff. That you know, she's that kind of a comedian where she, she plays needs off the straight of, man. Oh, she, yeah, she doesn't have a straight man. It's like, okay, where does she begin? <laughs> right. I have to take some kind of credit. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm I'm her I'm her straight man to a fault, straight woman to a fault. Ooh, that's kind of cool too. Whoa. And some people thought that we were friends, like friend friends, friends in real life body. Friends. Oh, like y'all hang out together. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've never met real well you would if you could oh yeah Ooh, cool i'm liking this this is bad this is addictive <laughs> <laughs> that's why i said i had all this other stuff i wanted to do today <laughs> i can't pull myself away from this <laughs> oh arlene says i'm looking for another broken nose <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm a little bit of a masochist there. Yeah, well, we knew that. Oh no. Oh, alcohol ink on the computer. Oh no. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Janet put the link in there for your stencils because you oh. can't have a jelly plate without one of yes. your Shannon stencils. Hello. You stencils. You need some of mine. And just look around the whole site because she does have some really good um, stencil designs over there. Oh. Well, that's black. So this is what happens when I try to go into neutrals. I just fail. Okay, here's what I need. Something less Halloween-y. Less Halloween-y? Less <laughs> Halloween-y. I know, Arlene. There, there's a lot missed when we read, when we read comments. But we make it up as we go. It's okay. <laughs> it's a foundation for us to take off from. And if it wasn't what the person meant, <laughs> we just make it up. Okay. What is that? Oh, Gail's leaving. Goodbye, Gail. Bye, Gail. Oh. Have a good one. Gross. I'm trying to see if, um, let me look over here. I'm trying to see if there's a lag between the chat in StreamYard and the chat in YouTube. Oh, okay. You just go do that. Okay. So right now I see Craft with Annie. Okay, somebody say something so I can see where it pops up first. Anybody, anybody say something.
Oh, now everybody's a mute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Annie said hi again. Okay. Oh, Jamie said something. Oh, dear. Now I can't tell. <laughs> now, that, now everybody's talking. <laughs> He did what you told him to. It looks like it comes up one second quicker over on YouTube, the chat. But it's almost it's almost neck and neck. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering which chat's better to read, but it's so close it doesn't really matter. Because you got a lag of the actual film, you got a lag of the chat. Between all that, it sounds like we're all on drugs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I'm snorting like I'm on drugs. So, you know, between those two. <laughs> Poiple. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I just can't get these to turn out as good as yours. What am I doing? I need more. More something. Oh, oh dear. I don't want that. Oh, this is going to look like some kind of a crime scene. I want it. I want. It's like, oh, okay, there we go. It's like, I don't want necessarily a, like a perfect circle, you know? Oh, it's going to, oh, it's getting all, oh, dear. It's getting <laughs> all funny. I was, it was going fine until I tried to uncircify it. And it all gummy. <laughs> uncircify. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, gummy itis. Oh, that's a little better. That's very, very gummy. A little bit better. Uh, hmm. Kind of a hot mess, this one. I don't think I, I think it's I just don't like those colors together. <sighs> Calico red. I need to get a new batch of colors again. Oh, let me just get some metallic, see what happens. Here we go. Oh, it's not brown. I have that whole bottle of, what is that? Oh, rose gold. Oh. <clears throat> I had a whole bottle oh, of. Poor, poor Arlene. She says she's always lagging, but it has nothing to do with the internet. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> oh my gosh! I think I probably need to clean this. Oh, there it is. Found it. The roller. The roller is really pretty bad. I think the roller is the sticky one, actually. Let's see. I don't like this one, so let's do this one over with the gold. I think it'll look pretty cool. Oh, it looks better. It doesn't look cool, but it looks better. Um, where did my dirt is? Yeah, much better. Ooh, even better. Better er er er. And for those of you that, um, you know, this is the first experience with jelly plating and you're wondering, what the heck do you do with that? Um, a lot of people use them for all their collage work, but I am starting. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I love the colors. Oh, oh, I love that. Yeah, buddy. Oh boy. Um, and but if you're not like into like big collage works and stuff like that, I started a new book this week. Look, it's really teeny weeny. I think it's like three and a half by five and a half, something like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make 
spreads of my whoops, of my collages. I mean, I'm <laughs> making mini collages of my prints. <laughs> I'll get it out. <laughs> and here was my first page that I did on my live this past week. I just and, love that. And then yesterday I did this one just for fun. Look, look at that. I thought this was fun. So some of these that I'm doing um, here with Shannon, um, some of those will come in here. I've only done two pages. <sighs> I hope I can do the follow through and continue because I'm, I'm famous for getting excited about something and then just, you know, <laughs> put it in the pile. I was just thinking the other day, you know, I haven't really done anything in my planner for about two weeks now. So I'm wondering if it has reached its limit. <laughs> it is entirely. I that, that you know awesome. my theory on planners. I know. And I, you know, and I'm not really planning as much as I am just recording. Yeah. Stuff that I already did or stuff that I want to remember or other unnecessary stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm also using it as a junk journal and, you know, making yeah, pretty. you're making it everything, so that's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, but, I like that. But I just like a true, a true planner, I don't get it. I yeah. never have, never will. I really like watching other people work in theirs. <clears throat> I don't even like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you're gonna do. I'm oh, okay. doing what I want to do. <laughs> I'm narrow-minded and self-centered. Oh, <laughs> I don't care what you're gonna do. I don't care what you did. <laughs> I don't care how many bottles of water you drank today. Well, it's a I mean, it's all about me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. Oh, that's just no grunge at all. What happened there? Probably too much paint. So those will be like little backgrounds. I'll clean those up in a second. What is Shannon using to push her paper to the press? I am using this Speedball Baron, and it's just a little kind of flat thing, and it's made, it's, I'm using it the what it's made for. Um, it's mostly used in like a block printing or, or yeah, that kind of thing. Mostly for printing, and that, that's what you're doing. You're printing, but on the This is mono printing. Yeah. Oh, that looks a lot better. I, more I had too much paint on there. That's what was going on, guys. Oops. Oopsie. Then I see the duck on the left side of that last print you pulled. This one? Is there a duck? Ah. I'll never see it. Crunchy. A duck? She sees, cat sees a duck on, was it this one? Is that the last one I pulled? I think it was. They see stuff on my stuff too, but it's usually obscene. And then Susan won't tell me which <laughs> it was. And then they're all there laughing about it. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. Okay, she sees it at the top. I should send this to you, Kat, so that you can draw around the duck. <laughs> a duck. Oh, my. Even trying to see a duck, I don't see a duck. No, I'm not seeing a is duck. Is it the whole body of the duck or just the nose of the duck? Or is it the foot of the duck? And it's impossible. We need to, to know what part of the duck. <laughs> duck. We need to know these things. You just can't say duck. Uh, nope, not seeing it. <laughs> okay, I think we'll get some chocolate stuff here. Oh, 
Oh. oh, that's interesting. Oh, that is cool. That was what I thought I was going to get. I like it. It looks like a microscope rendering of something. Yeah, of like a disease or something. <laughs> yeah. Sort of like what the inside of my nose looks like, maybe. All the swollen blood vessels. <laughs> I'm lagging on StreamYard. That's really weird. What do you mean? Oh, wait. Now I'm back. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I don't, don't ask me what I mean. I don't okay. Know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we won't. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't do this often enough to remember between one time and the next. I think I have some black. Um, alcohol milk somewhere. What does that say? Sangria. That's not black. Red. Another. What is this? Black. Something that I can't read black. Well, that's not working. Might just be a bird. Oh, you took a screenshot and well, oh my gosh, cat. Brilliant. Okay, good. Because we were desperate to see the duck bird thing. Yeah, we were getting all frustrated because we can't see. Yes. Yeah. Oops. Oopsie. Oops. A little bit better with the red on there. Not much. Well, I like that. <laughs> but a little. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. I lost my browns. There's the. Uh... Oops. Tangerine. Tangerine and what? Maybe with a deeper, a deeper orange, a neon orange. See what happens. And then we'll throw some alcohol ink on that. You. She just posted a link to a speedball player on Amazon. Oh, how'd I do that? Ooh. Did I even put that on there? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it pulled up from another one, huh? It, I think it did because I put brown mm -hmm. paint, brown alcohol ink, and black alcohol ink, and that is not what I pulled. <laughs> Funny. Like, I don't know what that must be some leftover gold or something. I like it, whatever it is. I do too, very much. Very, very much. Well, my husband is now looking or wanting another dog. Uh oh. Yeah. What's he wanting? Does he have a preference or just a shelter dog? Or 
Well, all of our dogs have um, been rescue dogs. Right. And we lost two of our dogs um, last year. Yeah, you lost our Rottweilers. Junior. Yeah. Oh, that broke my heart. That, yeah. Junior and Kitty, that was heartbreaking. Oh. Because Junior was my, like, my very, very, very all-time favorite of all the dogs I've ever had. Junior was a sweetheart. Junior was a sweetheart. Ooh, that's cool. So I told my husband, I said, you know what? We got two dogs left. That means, I mean, I don't mean to sound rude, but we have to go through two more deaths. <laughs> and it's like, I really don't want to get another dog to say, oh, we're going to have to go through three more deaths. You know, yep. I just, ah, I just, oh. That is exactly why we don't have any pets right now. Because the yeah, last I can, one we lost, I feel that right now. it killed me. I don't want to handle it. Yeah. So, and I ultimately say, you know, my husband's the one that takes care of all the animals and, you know, they all think he's a dog and all this. So I said, you know, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But um, just ask yourself, do you want to go through this? I mean, how many times do you want to go through this? Um, we've, we've had a lot of dogs and they've been rescue dogs. So, some of them, they've been with us a long time. Some of them have been with us a short time because we don't know how old they were when we got them. And, you know, and we always reflect and we go, well, at least, you know, even though we may or may not have had them for a long time, we gave them good last years of their lives. Right. So, right. You know, which is a good thing. But I told him, I said, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting selfish. It's like, okay, we're giving them a good life, but you're giving me a trauma. <laughs> I got trauma to deal with. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> when can we be selfish about rescuing all these animals? You know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who's gonna rescue, rescue me in my old age? Who's gonna rescue me? Some right. dog gonna rescue right. me? No. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. I will go look at it. I'll probably wait till after the stream because I don't trust myself not to like completely. <laughs> won't know how to get back in exactly. <laughs> she'll push a button and who knows where she is it will be bad you know <laughs> it's like your grandmother trying to do the call waiting thing it, yeah <laughs> oh you're dating yourself yeah <laughs> <laughs> call waiting young people are going call waiting what's She's that going, what? <laughs> oh my gosh showing up hey, valerie how you doing girl I just saw you. She'd probably been there the whole time and I didn't notice she was there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, I am so bad. But anyway, but I, I'm sure you understand my point about the dogs, right? It's just... Um, yeah, man, I totally get it. Yeah. You know, but there's going to be a point where we won't, if we if we embrace that philosophy, we won't have a dog. Right. And I'm thinking, I don't I don't think I want to be in a situation where I don't have a dog. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see when the time comes. I have no idea. And I'm not a cat person per se. Yeah. Um when I was at you know, young and at home, we had we had cats and it was fine, but they weren't like my favorite. <laughs> you know, um, they're just too darn independent, you know, they are, and they got an attitude. And I guess if you like attitude, that's the pet for you. I don't like attitude, I kind of do. I like cats. Oh, then you should get one, that's easy. All right, well, I had one, and that little sucker lived 23 years, mm -hmm. and when he died, I just it, it was like it was losing a family member. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, it was so hard on me. I had a dog that I had for twenty. It was almost twenty three years. Had him before, you know, obviously before I got married. Had him during my marriage, and whenever I'd get mad at Richard about something, I said, "You watch it." I said, "That, <laughs> that dog has been with me longer than you have." <laughs> That's what I told Jason about the cat. 
He did he not like watch it. <laughs> like, look, buddy, that cat was here before you. That's right. So if there's any choices to be made, you know where it's going. <laughs> and so when I lost him, I swore never again. I wasn't going to get another dog, period. And then that's the time, kind of a time frame shortly after that is when we moved to Hawaii. And um, a friend of ours there um, worked at a, at a restaurant. And there was some lady there in the parking lot um, giving away these dogs. And uh, our friend, I say that loosely, called up my husband because my husband had mentioned about maybe getting a dog. And I'm saying, no, 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 no. So he calls up my husband. He says, oh, there's these cute little dogs. He goes, I can't have dogs where I live, but they're so cute. You have to come and look at them. And so my husband takes off and I said, where are you going? He goes, well, I'm going down to Lukeen's. That was the name of the restaurant. So I thought he was going to Lukeen's to go get food, right? <laughs> I go, okay, can you get me blah, 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 you know? And, um, and he comes back and he has, you know, that husband smirk. Oh yeah. Have. Okay. Oh yeah. So he came back with the husband smirk. Oh no, it's never and good. I go, where's the food? Cause he got out with the smirk with no food. I said, where's the food? And the next thing I hear, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I'm thinking, boy, he must've eaten it all and got gas or something. I don't know what is going on here. So. He goes and he brings out the most and most adorable puppy you've ever. All puppies are adorable, right? This adorable puppy. And I'm going, Richard. <laughs> and he goes, look. I go, Richard. Oh, no. And, and I said, no, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Because <laughs> he's trying to put it in my arms. I said, I'm not touching that dog. <laughs> and then I hear off in the distance. I go, what did you do? <laughs> he goes, I didn't want him to be lonely. <laughs> so he got two of them. Oh, man. So they wouldn't be lonely. Oh, they can't be lonely. He's right. Oh, my gosh. So that's how we got started with dogs again. <laughs> And then I forget how old. Well, we didn't know exactly what going by the age of the lady was telling us. Oh, my husband, they were. And um, and then uh, so we we had them um, get their, you know, the parvo and all that kind of stuff and everything, right. shots and all that stuff. And like a day later. One of the dogs was totally sick, oh. went off into the bushes, was curled up, shivering. Anyway, it turned out that before he got his shot, he had already been exposed to Parvo. Oh, no. So they told us, um, so we, and at this point, we are dead broke. We don't have, you know, a penny to our name. We had just moved to Hawaii because of certain circumstances on the mainland you know my husband had lost his job we had lost this this is when the economy was really horrible. yeah like in the when yeah. was that 90s i don't remember the years All right but uh, our philosophy when we moved to hawaii was if we're going to be broke we're going to be broke in hawaii <laughs> there you go. i am not going to be broke in california so that's when we moved to hawaii but anyway so obviously we don't have money we barely have the money to get them all their shots and everything so we take him into the bed and he's, and he tells us, he goes, um, it's going to cost, I forget what it was then, something like 300 and some dollars. We've only had this dog two weeks. Okay. Yeah. 300 and some, sorry, for a free dog turned into a $300, $300 dog. And, and so I said, Richard, we don't, what are we supposed to do? You know, make, print the money. How are we going to pay for this? You know? And um, so they told us that we could pay them on payments. And I'm going, great. Where am I going to get them to pay the payments? You know? Right. Anyway. So, um, so we decided to do it because, because, you know, yeah, we love dogs, right? We love animals. So we go, okay. So the plan was they, they, oh, and then it was a 50, 50 chance that he would respond. Yeah. 
because basically what parvo is it dehydrates the animal to death literally yeah and so what they do is they hook them up to these electrolytes and all kinds of tubes and stuff to keep them from dehydrating and okay so he got past he got past that dehydration and was doing really good but they don't like to let them go until um they eat until they eat and he wouldn't the the dog wouldn't eat so we came they said maybe if you come um you can get the dog to eat so the vet was bringing the dog. This little thing looked like a rat. He was really tiny. <laughs> He'd just been through parvo, um, recuperating. And when they brought him out, he literally jumped out of the vet's arms into Richard's arms. Oh. I mean, that's how much strength he mustered to get out of the clutches <laughs> of the vet. And the vet said, he's okay, take him home. He'll you you'll get him to eat, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take him home. And because they were so um the vet, because they were, I guess, so I don't know, surprised the fact that he survived, um, surprised that the reaction he had to Richard and all that kind of stuff, they waived all costs and we didn't have to pay <gasps> any. You're kidding. No, not a penny. Wow. So then we had to be nice to the dog from then on, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. We had a Dalmatian puppy and he had already had all his shots several weeks before. Was doing fine. Goes out in the yard one Saturday morning and he's he's sick. Oh. And I just knew something was wrong. It wasn't just oh, normal sick. Yeah. Wrong. And it was like a Saturday morning and the vet's office was only up until noon. Always this weekend. Always. Always. And I said, Jason, they're only up until noon. Please take him in. Taylor was like two years old. This was her first pet. Uh huh. So Jason leaves, goes to the vet, comes back home, no dog with him. And uh -oh. I'm like, oh God. Uh -oh. And uh, you know he's jiggling the leash. I hear the empty leash. Uh oh. And he said, um, "Good news and bad news." I said, "Okay, good news first. Pongo is a purebred Dalmatian. We uh -oh. weren't sure because when we got him, his uh, mama was on site, but Daddy wasn't. Mm -hmm. and we didn't pay all that much for him because you know he's not like he was registered, had papers. Yeah. And um, but the guy said, "Yeah, he's." Purebred. We didn't really care that much. It's like, okay. I nah. said, well, that's good. And he said, yeah, the reason the vet knows is because Dalmatians are one of the few breeds that can get parvo after they've been vaccinated. Oh, no. Dalmatians and German Shepherds. And there was another one. And I was like, great. And I had, you know, probably like you, I always thought parvo was an instant death sentence. Yeah. That they just don't survive. Yeah. So, yeah, we did the whole, you know, he had to go stay at the vet and he was there three or four days and he came out. He was just, he was funny because he was already at that awkward age. So he was just all legs, <laughs> <laughs> this little skinny body and all giant legs. He looked like a pony, <laughs> <laughs> but he made it. Yeah. And cost what did that cost back then? Fortune, but he made it. What did it cost back then? Because that was quite a while ago. It was quite a while. I mean, this was like 28 something years ago. And I'm thinking we probably paid three or four hundred dollars. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. So, was, and you know, at that point, you know, you got to get your money's worth out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. He was a good dog and <laughs> he lasted quite a while. <sighs> I don't know how young children, because I did, I never had a pet die when I was, you know, young. I was an adult. Um, I don't know how children handle that. Do they handle it better than adults do, or or worse? I don't know. <laughs> all right. Taylor was older when all of our pets died, and I mean, it tore her up. Um, for a while, but then she was ready for the next one. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Of course, 
it's Taylor. <laughs> this is my kid. <laughs> Not to say that, you know, she's an example of how <laughs> kids would be. All children are. <laughs> are there any close to moving back? What's, what's your plans? They are hoping to be back within a year. Oh. But yeah, she's really hoping by the end of this year. Wow. But, um, and they're not going to get married until they move back. Because, you know, she's just got this PTSD about weddings since she's had to cancel two. Yeah. So, so that means the in-laws will come out, have to come out for the wedding then. Yes. And they are on the verge of retirement. So oh, they're going to move to Texas too. <laughs> I think they're going to, I think they're going to do the RV thing. Oh, wow. At least for a while. So, um, yeah. I think it'll work out just fine. And she's kind of wanting to get back in the Houston area, maybe up near the woodlands. And hopefully they'll be able to both keep their California jobs and work remotely. Uh huh. Which they should be able to. The kind of jobs they have, they should be able to. Well, they're going to need California money if they're going to Texas now. Because everybody uh, yeah. in California is in Texas. <laughs> and the prices reflect it. <laughs> They are. Oh, I like this one, you guys. This is like really kind of grungy. That's the advantage of living in Hicksville, Arkansas, is that you can afford to have a house. Right. <laughs> you can actually live. You can actually have you a house. Even, you, you can, can have a little studio like, next door. You can buy groceries. You can buy groceries. It's cheap gas. <laughs> you have enough money left over to feed birds and a rat. You know, it's just yes. Yeah, you have to. You know, yeah. You can use your money in various ways. And, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Okay. What did Jamie say? Close to me to see. Oh, right. Yes. Yes, yes Jamie. Yeah. She's um, looking for stuff, and maybe even Susan, because she has been looking in that whole um, area, Spring and Conroe and Tomball, that whole area up there. You know, we used to live up in Cyprus. And loved it. And I just, we just Well, if it. she buys something, you need to tell her it needs to have like a mother in law thing in the jigger. That's, she's actually looking for something that, <laughs> <laughs> that might have some space. <laughs> we'll just have to see how that works out. And Leslie, you're in Katie. Okay, I will come and visit you. You know, in my in my mind, where I've already moved there, and it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, she's leaving me. She's leaving me. Well, yeah. probably not anytime soon. Oh, I like this. Hey, I just love yellows. I'm partial to that. Yellows and well, yellows are happy. Turquoises and yes. Orange. I guess I like all colors. Shut up, Rosemary. I like all the colors. Well, this studio, as many of you know, was supposed to be for my mom and dad, but they're smart. They didn't want to leave California. <laughs> exactly. So I ended up with a studio instead of my parents. How do you like that? Way to do it. Hey, have we been, how long have we been on? Say what? How long have we been on? Uh, an hour and 49 minutes and 37 seconds. Oh, look at you go. You know stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> I was thinking maybe two hours. Well, you've got 20, 10 seconds. <laughs> you got to get off. <laughs> I said I was thinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, anybody can leave anytime they want. Yeah. Yeah. If they're busy, they 
somebody to go work out in their garden or and that's so nice outside that's tomorrow we've got a we've got some a vinyl job to do for a local place oh the the hamilton one for, no this is yeah. for it's, no it's for the walton art center same place they didn't want us to do the hamilton because the show ended up bringing their own merch Oh, okay. so we're still going to do the vinyl, but it will be after the show is gone and it's still playing right now. Oh, okay. But they gave us some vinyls to do some weird stuff to, I don't even know what it's like. We have to take this giant banner and cut it down into smaller banners and put grommets on it so they can display it at this festival that they're having. And, you know, they sent me, like, what they want, and they said, can you do this? And, of course, my response is, well, heck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> we make zip pouches and tote bags. <laughs> but I said, sure, <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> so that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're figuring it out. Oh, boy. Wish you were closer so I could use your sewing machine. What is I don't know. I don't. I mean, I wish there was a cheap version of your sewing machine. Right. <laughs> Something that could sew through a lot of stuff. Well, they're a little pricey. Oh my goodness, I got oodles of things. Oh, I need to do something with this one because the first print didn't have that much on there. Alrighty. Okay, let me find some color. What do I want to put on there? Maybe something totally off the wall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that a good sound? <laughs> my dog barking okay i think i'm gonna try to wrap this up and show a couple of the other things that i wanted to show make it a flowers yeah yay i want to see how you do that well i, I, learned, I learned better I'll, when i can ask questions I'll, I'll show you how i struggle to do it and then send you over to Natasha's channel. So you but can I can't ask her any questions. No, no. Live, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I've got paper sticking. Oh, no, that's not too bad. And what do we need for that? So we can start getting our stuff if we're playing along. You need strips of paper. Strips of paper. Like just any paper, book pages or paper paper, decorative paper. I've used some of my gel prints. And is there a preferable width that works? Like about, with? I've been using about an inch and a half. Okay. And it's helpful if you have a stapler. Stapler. Okay. And really, that's that's it for the making of them. Check, check, and double check. I got those. Where is my my goo there it is uh oh that's the last of my cut paper this is perfect timing whoa look at that it's almost like we knew what we were doing Yay. like we had a plan like we had a plan 
and they're off on there, and it will have a nice pick up of some butyrates when we come back next time. Okay, let me put let me put these away so I have room for my paper strips. Danny, you've already done the pleated flowers? Oh, good. You can guide us along. Yeah, I watched her this morning. Like I was laying in my bed, you know, and I checked my phone and I, I uh, checked my email. I check on Zelensky. I check my Facebook and then YouTube. And I saw her video and I was kind of half, half alert when I watched and about halfway through, I like bolted out of bed. <laughs> I was like, Oh man, I gotta try that. <laughs> yeah. These ladies come up with some cool stuff. I'm telling you. And I like when different ones come up with a new little twist. I mean, there's not, I mean, there are some new things, but not a lot of new things. Right. But you can always put a little twist to it, which, you know, makes exactly. it exactly more fresh than new, you know. And it was just super smart of me to do this first and then the paper flowers because, you know, <laughs> you can see a close up of my hands. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a mess. Yeah. And if you want your, your flowers to be multiple colors because of all the paint everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Yes. Go there, watch Natasha make her pleated flowers, and then come back here and make fun of us. Trying yeah, to we can laugh at us. <laughs> we can handle it. That's all right. We've been through worse. We've laughed at each other. <laughs> That's right. We can handle you. You haven't really arrived on YouTube until you've been heckled, so, you know. This is okay. Hey, we haven't had any trolls. Have we had any trolls today? Shh. What are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my God. What is wrong with you? <laughs> now, here they come. <laughs> Don't you know it's sacrilegious to be cast in this video? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want some, huh? And there they are. There they are. <laughs> it has been a while since you've been on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have forgotten protocol. Man. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at this pile, you guys. I didn't know I was going to make this much stuff. Goes quick. It was. Well, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think here all happened. day, and I'm going, oh, it goes quick. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Right. I'm going to put all this paint. No. Move these two oh, yeah. I'll put those away later. Here's what I need. What if you made them out of these papers? Yeah, you can. I find, and she said in the video that thin paper is better. 
So I struggled a little bit with some of my gel prints because, you know. They yeah, they get thick. The paper. But it's um, not, not how, how long are the strips? Any particular? You can use half sheets because sometimes um, you can, it'll take more than one strip to make a whole flower. Okay. Just depending on like, the blur. The wider the strip is, the longer you need. I'm trying to be all tidy and put all of my little inks and paints back like they go. I put them, I put all my inks away, but I didn't put all my paints. I'll do that later because I put my paints by color, so that takes time. Oh, look at you. Well, that's the only way I can know how to find a color. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It take forever now. I would take even more forever. I like how that one came. Um, Janet says, um, she, oh, she also used newspaper. Oh. Yeah. 12, 12 inches is a good length. You know how mm -hmm. thin newsprint is. Yeah. So it does really well. And she also used tissue paper. Oh, I have some jelly printed tissue paper over here I could use. Okay. okay. Now I can just hide these. Tear up my room looking for them a week from now. We put these papers away. Ooh, I have some really bright paper that I got from Amy. I don't know, I don't think anything's 12 inches though. I don't want to make life difficult for myself. <laughs> Let's stick with the long stuff so I don't have a problem. have too much of a design that I don't mind sacrificing. Whoops, let's put this over here. Um, this one I could sacrifice. I could sacrifice this one. Uh -oh. Maybe even that way. Oh, good. Thank mm -hmm. you, Janet. I would love to see your flowers because mine mm -hmm. are janky. I'm telling you. I'm trying to get all the, or as much alcohol off of my hands as possible. Okay, shifting gears. Okay, so these are 12 inches, so that's good. That'll work. 12 inches by, you said two and a half? One, one and a half, one oh. inch, just something. Okay. She said she didn't really even measure hers, but I did. I couldn't be that footloose and fancy free. <laughs> and these are my first attempts, but I've not decorated anything yet. I may need to zoom in. You got to decorate them too? 
You got to decorate them too. There's, yeah, it's a whole just, thing. Just put it on yours because you're going to be teaching. I'm, I'm not teaching nothing, and you don't need to be seeing what how I'm messing up. Okay, just put it on mine. Yeah. Uh, Solo, yeah. Is that it? Yep. Oh, there I am. Oh, now I'm bigger because <laughs> my screen is bigger. Oh, funny how that looks. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to move in a little bit and refocus. There you go. Yeah, these are kind of naked because I haven't finished them off yet, but we'll do that. So you're going to need some strips of paper. Thinner is better. Um, Janet says one and a half inch makes a nice size flower. And that's about what I've got here. These are one and a half inch. I've got some book pages. This was just some regular paper. You can use scrapbook paper, um, newsprint, tissue paper. Thinner is better. Did we already say that? I think I already said that. It, it, it needs to be emphasized because you said scrapbook paper and sometimes that's thick. Yes. Or if you buy the cheap stuff. Like me. Yeah, and you can get away with it. I'm thinking deli paper, like some of your gel prints on deli paper. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Is that what you're doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm using it. That would be cool. Let's see. I've got some cleanup sheets here. So I ended up with six, six strips. They're not all the same size. So, so 12 by 6 are two, but they're not really two. Some are bigger, that's some fine. are smaller. This is boring. You know, there's not a lot going on, so I'm going to cut it up. And I'm just going to cut the white off because I don't want any white. Hey, Kimberly. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Kimberly. We've switched from gel plates to Natasha's paper flowers. This is okay. These are maybe not one and a half. This is probably one and a quarter. And I probably should have cut it the other way so they're longer. I'm going to see, and now that one's an inch. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kimberly's going to play along with you. She's ripping her papers up. Okay. So somewhere between one and one and a half is what, is what Shannon's doing. She's not sure. Yeah, we're not sure. I'm going to this line on my trimmer, whatever that is is so <laughs> and i had a 12 by 12 inch um deli paper and i ended up with six but they don't look like okay. two inches maybe they are i don't know well that's okay well, you'll probably be able to make a whole flower out of your one piece and i'll probably have to piece mine together okay so the technique is to pleat the paper and make it go in kind of a circle. I had a lot of trouble with this. Uh, I, okay. It just sounds straightforward. But you pleat. So you don't just do, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. Back and forth, back and forth. You have to kind of do it at an angle. At an angle. So at you're an angle. You the flower. And, and she said you can go, you know, right over left or left over right. Whichever is more comfortable for you. It seems like left over right was more comfortable for me. And then oh. and you pleat it and press it as you're doing yeah, that? Or? Yeah, you just kind of pleat it and hold it down as you go. See like that? Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know, you, you probably don't know. Um, in the past couple of weeks, I've had like some nerve damage in my hand and I can't feel the tips of my right <laughs> hand. So this is real fun trying to do this because I can't. Feel. Uh, okay, that's going to be a challenge. Uh, yeah. Extra challenge. For I you. can't do that with my left. I can't hold that with my left hand because that would be like 
not going to happen. Oh, boy. Yeah, things have been happening to me. Getting We're kind of falling nose. apart over there, Rosemary. I'm falling apart. I'm a little concerned. I got whacked on the nose. I got damage on my hand from making these crazy things for my kit from last month. I, I used my... um. My die cutter so much that I can't use my hand now. <laughs> I had to go buy a a what you call it one automatic one because I literally could not do it anymore. I would put a shooting pain. Oh wow! Um, from the middle of my hand up my arm and to the tip of my fingers, and I'm going. I'm not doing this for you guys no more. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't think I can do this with my fingers, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. See this one. I'm almost there, and I might could you know force it around. I can already tell this is not going to be a project for me. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't feel it and touch it and hold. Yeah, it. it's oh. gonna. It's probably gonna be difficult for you. Yeah. So I'm gonna start another one. Uh oh. And I don't think you guys knew, um, or you, I don't know if you knew or not. Um, I don't know anything about, I think this was like in the fall, no pun intended, but I fell. I was working in the yard and I, you know, those, um, those big, um, those big things that the, well, I don't know about your city, but they, they give us this big old rolling um, thing to put your, garden your gardening uh, oh yeah i know what you're talking about yeah okay so <laughs> my husband and i were out in the yard now i'm not i'm not um accident prone except for like the past year is like i'm catching up for my whole life um okay let me gotta watch what you're doing because mine's not working okay so i just went i got another one and because see this didn't go all the way around Quite. Oh, oh yeah. I did another one and I should have explained what I just did. See, cause you end up with this end right here. That's kind of wider than all your pleats. So I cut it off. Yeah. Okay. Mine doesn't look like anything like yours. Uh, let me put you up here. I can't see what you're doing. It's just that my, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't feel what I'm, I can't. Well, you have a, you have a, an affliction. So that can't be helped. See, this is what I've got so far. What the heck is this? Well, okay, I can't really it see it. More like a fan. Yeah, but you just need to make more to go all the way around. Oh lordy, I got to do more. <laughs> yeah, and then you can just kind of piece it together, and it'll be okay. I think. What does it look like when it's done? Maybe I need to know what it's what it my looks, goal. It looks kind of like this. See, and these have two pieces. They're not one long piece, they're two. And sometimes I had to staple them like 12 times in the middle because I kept not going through the paper right. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure this is not a project for me. Okay. Because, yeah, because I like right now, the amount of time I had to hold that right there, these two fingers are numb on the end right now. Oh no, don't hurt yourself. From From, you know, holding on to that. Right, so it doesn't come apart. But I'm gonna try at least make one. But I just know it's not gonna be like a project I make to put in my journals because right. it's too painful. <laughs> but I do want to make one. Don't do painful. No, don't do painful. But I do Pay attention want to your body. I do want to make one just to say, hey, I made Look, one. I made it. <laughs> See, and I've got this one so fiddly, I can't hold it together. Maybe I should try to just make it make it come together out of one. But it just doesn't quite meet. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to staple this. And she showed, Natasha showed how you can use a stapler. You can, you can like pin it to a piece of styrofoam, you know, poke a hole in the middle and pin it. Mm -hmm. You can glue it. I don't think she used any glue on hers, and I'm trying to be her, you know, and not use glue. 
but it might be easier for me if I did. Oh, there. Now I can just piece it. Like I said, 12 staples in the middle. <laughs> if you're me, one if you're Natasha. <gasps> yes, Susan, it is carpet tunnel. Yes. Yeah. So then once you get it, you know, fan shape kind of sort of, then you can do other stuff. You can, um, you know, your flower needs a center. Yeah. So do you make a baby one and put it in there? You can make a baby one. You can, you know, you can layer like that. Or make a little baby one. Or what she had done also is she, um, let me find out what would look good here. Don't make it that. Is that two? There. Cut up all my paper. Let me find a piece I can punch. Because I'll show you what she did. It was really cute. And I don't want to do that I'm looking for a for kind of a janky gel print, you know, that's yeah, not quite awesome, and they're all awesome. <laughs> well, you're gonna have an, an awesome flower. Yeah. Okay. So I'll punch to center like that. And then you can punch another center, like, oh, I don't know if I want that. I want to know what I want. Where's that one that I did that was too skinny? I need some blood to my fingers. So see, you can make little, little layered center like that. And then what she oh, did, cool. yeah, it, isn't it cute? And then it's she told cute. a um, poke pool. That's my poke pool. I don't know. Well, this one barely pokes anymore, but maybe it'll work. And. Mm -hmm. And you can use any kind of brads, you know, like office supply brads. Or cute decorative ones, or ones with shapes. Here's a uh, here's a brad. So I'm gonna put that in about the middle. That in the middle. That okay, the middle is right where my paper clip is. Where my stapler. And then just open your brad on the back to hold it all together. Like so. And then she took and she inked up her edges. Do I have something to do that with? Uh, maybe. You know what I'm thinking? Where is... Where is 
There it is. Get this gold paint pen. Let's just see what happens. I kind of do this in a non-exact fun way. What Rosemary's doing over there? There we go. Maybe I'll go around there. Those big round flat sequin things, those would be cute for flower centers. She also used buttons and she sewed some on oh, it. Uh, you could use a big glue on a big cabochon or something. See, those are pretty. They're cute as can be. They take, they're a little fiddly at first. You know, there's a little bit of a learning curve. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially when you don't have fingers. Yeah. So once you get it, it's okay. Let's do this. Okay, I got mine done. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. What you got? Oh, look, you did it. I love it. Ta -da. Yeah. It looks a little bit like a sunflower. Yes. <laughs> she looks a little bit like a sunflower. I'm going to put it. I am. Uh, I had to uh, jump in as a substitute partner over in the uh, Flowish swap. Uh -huh. And because of what was happening, I the theme the theme for this past month was sunflowers for obvious reasons. Right. And so I'm going to put that in the little journal. Uh -huh. For sunflower. Yay. I just glued it on there, guys. And the top one, one staple and then glued that on there and everything kind of stayed in place. Oh, good. Natasha even gave ideas for how to use them because she's awesome like that. These little closures and um, some little envelope journal things. Oh, Kathy says that it reminds her a little bit of um, yo-yos made out of you know, when you make the yo-yos out, oh, out of yeah. Yeah, that's right. It does. See, nothing new, just a twist to it. Exactly. I like it. Well, I think I'd enjoy making them if it didn't cause me excruciating pain. <laughs> More. Otherwise, I think it would be a fun project. <laughs> but I do have limitations to what I consider fun. <laughs> oh, there. Okay, I didn't get that anywhere near the center. <laughs> oh, and I squished my. <laughs> Oh, put it on yourself, girl. Not going well. So we can see what you're doing. Oh, put it on me? Yeah. I'm not in the frame anyway. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, here's, here's where you just um now would it work after you've glued and stapled and everything? If you left a little spot in the center, could you put like an eyelet in there and then hang it from something? Put the eyelet in the center? Yeah. Uh, probably. You know, if your staples aren't in the way. Right. And that's my problem is that I was trying to staple right in the middle. And I see now that wasn't really a good idea. Because <laughs> I need that middle. She needs that middle. I need it now. She needs it open. And I can't see what I'm doing. I need bifocals and I'm just too cheap to go buy them. And if I take my glasses off, I can see fine up close. So that's usually what I do is just pull them down. But oh, look, it's all wonky, but it's kind of precious. That's how mine is. Mine's yeah. very wonky. It's very wonky, but kind of cute. I like them. Yeah. Fun. So there is what I learned this morning from Natasha. And like I said, go over to her channel and learn how to do it right. And then I'll show you one more thing. Um, so we were talking the other day on when I was on live with Rosemary. Uh-oh. And remember when I asked you what's going on because I'm all out of touch and don't know? Yes. And you, you were talking about the neurographic stuff. Yeah. So That's I tried right. it. Mm-hmm. And I decided I kind of like it. Very good. It's not bad. Now, I think that you're supposed to um, meditate on something as part of a self-improvement, uh, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. I can do that. No, that, that thing is not Zen to me at all. No. And it's, I mean, just, I really, I like doodling and I like doodling like this. And the whole process to me is, is cathartic. So I don't really need to work out a problem or anything, but um, I did it anyway. And you can still do it if you don't meditate on it. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so, there's that one. I, like and I did these over some of my gel printed backgrounds. Now, and what think, did you use to put the black on? I uh, pens. I used pens, Rosemary. Pens. Pens. I'll show you. Oh, okay. Okay. And so that's the think. Another part of it is that you're supposed to to do the doodles, and then you're supposed to color them in. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I didn't really want to do that, so I didn't. I just used a background already. And doodled over it. I think this was the first one I did. Kathy's over there telling you to get laid. What? Kathy D. Look at her. <laughs> I had to put her in the corner. <laughs> She's telling you to put her. Kathy T. Bring a bunch of them together and make a leg. Get laid, <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Kathy. Great idea. Oh, man. Okay, so yeah, I did this one and just kind of did the, you know, just kind of all over everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I, I did the lines with kind of a thick pen. And y'all, I've had these pens forever. I probably got them all on jet pens. Mm -hmm. But I used this Sakura Pigment Sensei pen, and it's kind of fat. Mm -hmm. So I did the fat ones first. Uh oh, Janet's gonna put me in the corner. I didn't even write anything. Look, she's gonna put me in the corner. In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're in trouble. So I did that, and then I went back with a thinner pen. I used this completely unmarked, whatever this is. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, a little bit thinner. And then I had another one. It's even thinner. That's like an 8.0. If you have pens that have numbers, this is like an 8.0. The big one's like a 2.0. So I bet that one's a 1. Point, let's say 1.3. I'm just totally making that up. Mm -hmm. And then I have this brush pen mm. that I used. You can use whatever pens you want. 
And if you're going to color in afterwards, they really need to be waterproof, especially if you're going to watercolor. If you're not, then it's no big deal. But these are all permanent. So anyway, yeah, see this, you can tell, really tell. I did with the fat pen first, and then I went in with one of the little pens. I think it was this one and did the little lines. And then that one, I did that way. This one, I just kind of did, I didn't do loops um, with the big pens. I just kind of did squiggles up and down this way and across this way. And then I went back in and did a few loops with a smaller pen. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. this one's my favorite. Of course, it was fussy. But Ooh, I do like that one. Yeah, that one turned out really cool. I really, really, really like that. That and, could be Zen. That, that could be Zen, that one. Yeah, yeah. And then this one I like, too. Mm -hmm. And I was a little, and some of them, you know, I was just like, well, well, well don't really care. Let the pen ink you know, land where it does. And then like on this one, I was a little more intentional because yeah, I ended up with this thing in the middle, which was kind of weird. And then I put these coming out like this on purpose. So yeah, I think you can do it intentional or not so much either yeah. way. Yeah. So I'm going to find a paper now. And you don't, I mean, you know, you're using pen and these have all kinds of paint on them, which can gunk up your pen and make it skippy. So. Yeah, I was telling them the other night that when you are working, at least on acrylics, that there's some stuff, it will dry up your pens after you've used it one time. Yes, yes. You, if it's not acrylic or some kind of a permanent acrylic, and if it's a different type, like Sharpies, it'll dry up your Sharpie. It one, sure will. One sitting. Yeah, it can get weird. So be careful of that. Be aware of that. And some of these are just, uh, you know, I have that problem with backgrounds. I don't want to cover them because they're just, they're too special. But they're backgrounds. They're meant to be covered up. No, oh, they're too special. They're oh, all special, good. Rosemary. They're all okay. special. All right. They want you to can make some ugly ones. Then, so you can. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too awesome. Everything I make is awesome. <laughs> I can't make any ugly ones. Hey, look, that one. There's not much on it. You should have used that one. This one? No, well, you're, you're kind of lagging. You skipped a second there. That so, one? Yes, there's not much there. Use that one. I know, but I love it. Um, <laughs> but don't you want to love your squiggle when you're done? You have to have a pretty background. All right, fine. Okay. <laughs> so, got a few to try. And now, I'll start with my fat pen. Use your Sharpies or whatever, but, you know, like Rosemary said, be aware that um, if you're doing it over acrylics, it, you can dry your stuff up. And I really probably shouldn't have these. Down. Well, I guess that's Use your old ones, so if they're ready to dry up anyway, you're not losing much. Yes. So, go ahead and do this one. So you can see... And then what I'm going to do is you want to go, you want your lines to go off the edge and, you know, be all around. And you, I mean, honestly, it's hard to mess up because it, it, the way it's done, it just ends up looking cool no matter what. Mm -hmm. So start off the edge and then let's do some loop de loops. And That's technical ladies. Yeah. That wasn't hard. Then I'll just go through, you know, there's some naked spots. So I'll just put a little whoop, you know, as if there's something happening off the page. Now know. to distinguish a loopy loo and a whoop. And a whoop. Yeah. Say it right. Whoop. <laughs> so you do like that. And then all there is to this whole thing is you just round all of the um, intersecting lines. And I usually, this is where I like the brush pen, or I use a little bit smaller one to go in 
and okay, these two lines intersect right here. So you're going to have four angles to round. You're going to have this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then that's what you do. You round it and you fill it in. And that's all there is to it. Literally all there is to it. And you can make it, you know, like really pronounced, you know, make that really show up like that or just barely do it, whatever you want. And I make sure I don't, I don't even know if this was on the instructions, but I like these ones that go off the page to even round those. So do like that and like that. And then you just go in everywhere a line goes off your page and you round it out and everywhere it intersects you round it out and kind of my pet peeve is okay let me scooch in and this is just just me we're talking about Oh, that's as far in as I go. Okay. Am I still in focus? You're out right now. I'm out of focus. At least on StreamYard you are. Okay, you're good. I hate autofocus, so I like to get it focused and then turn autofocus off. Yeah. Okay. There. <clears throat> so, yeah, if, if it's not smooth, like right here, you can see where I did the rounding. It's kind of not smooth. Then I'll go back in and smooth it out, you know, redraw that line and smooth everything out like that. And then you just do that with every intersection, making it as big or as tiny as you want. It looks like um, Los Angeles freeway from the sky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Or uh, your central nervous system or something. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, I kind of got on the lines there. So I'm going to... I distracted her. I'm going to retrace it so that everything is smooth. So you get the idea. Yeah. Then, and some of these I went in and just on purpose made the fat line fatter. See, that's like super fat. So I went back in with my super fat and just kind of redrew. Like that. You want them fatter. And then you can take, um, let's do this pen. Take one of your thinner ones <clears throat> and go in and either, you know, do some more loop de loops, or this is like I did on, on uh, I think I did it on that one and on this one. And I just kind of put stuff in places on purpose, like that. Like that. And like that. You just put them where you want. And then you do the same thing. You go in and round the intersections like so and then if you want to okay so that one round there round there you can kind of 
I gotta finish rounding. Round, round. But then you can kind of like add areas that are thick and areas that are thin. See, that's got a little thin and a little thick going on because that, that makes it fun. More intersections, rounding. And it never fails. I'll go through and I think I'm finished and I'll find a little corner that I overlooked. Round. And then, yeah, you just keep going. And to get what I really like are these, like these little, I call them polyps because that looks like something the doctor would really need to remove, you know, these little polyps. <laughs> <laughs> I love little polyps. So you just go in and make the little polyps. Oh, no, Renee's here and she's mad. She didn't get a notification. Oh, dead good. <laughs> We've only been here 20 hours, Renee. <laughs> oh, dang day. <laughs> You're just in time for polyps, Renee. Okay. <laughs> She's going, who's that talking? That's me, Renee. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, don't put me on. Oh, don't put her on. Okay. I'm not doing that, but I'm watching you. Oh, okay. So let's make a polyp right here. You just go, whoop. see, just a little growth. And that corner is already rounded because it blended in. And then you just round this corner. And you round this corner, and there's your little growth. And you can do it. Let's see, I've got a little wonkiness there. Do it here. Round your corners. And in my world, this is all there is to neurographic, uh, whatever you call it, neurographic art. I call it neurographic doodles. To me, this is just a, this is a nice doodle. And Renee super chatted you. Oh my gosh, Renee, thank you so much. I appreciate you, girl. When are we going to get together? You got to come visit us. She is one busy lady. I've told her. Yes. I can't even hardly get her onto a live, let alone live in, in the studio. <laughs> like real live in person. <laughs> oh gosh, she just she just um she just referred to us like her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> what is I guess, I guess it's a compliment. Mean? Mean you're really close. <laughs> Worn out and stretchy elastic? Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Oh, your foundation. <laughs> I'm with you now. <laughs> Oh, like what the heck were her spanks? <laughs> so yeah, and it, I was just sitting on I sit on the couch while you know Jason's. Oh, Mary's home. here now. Mary, Mary, my friend Mary. I'm so happy to see you. We're you doing. Might to, you might um, have to start a second round. There's new people after four hours. Right. <laughs> Maybe we should have started later. <laughs> Who knew? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I like the loosey goosey ones that you're doing. Yeah, I do too. 
And uh, I think that's all there is to it is we just um, make lines and round corners around the intersections. Oh, Kathy made a good point. That that's, this is something you can have like a little journal and take it with you wherever you go. Oh, absolutely. While you're sitting and waiting, you just bring out your pen and there you go. Yeah, super easy. And to me, it's relaxing. You know, it's it's not that way for everyone, but it is for me. Look, Renee's leaving and Popo's not even here and she's saying goodbye to her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, people, I think they think that Susan and I are Siamese twins. Y'all are a set. Yeah, we're a set. <laughs> we're a sight, but we're not a set. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's just weird to have one without the other. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like they're all going, well, we're Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Susan does have a life outside of me. Oh, man. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, I was thinking that I was going to, like, you know, fill up a book or a journal with all these gel prints, but I may do another one that's just got these neuro, neuro doodles. I don't really understand them. Miss Art Barn is here. Yay. Woohoo. Man. They're coming out of the Art Barn studio. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just had a squirrel jump on my screen. Not in the studio. What? On my window screen. Oh, that screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, I, I had to clarify that. that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's too funny. I like this brush pen because it makes me feel extra artsy. I'm not really very good with it. I love brush pens. It does give you a feel like you know what you're doing. Yeah, it does. It makes me feel all legit. Yeah. So Beth is here. How are you doing, girly? Staying busy, I'm sure. He wants food. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's probably time for me to feed the birds. The squirrel's letting me know I need to feed the birds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's right, Annie. It would have been worse if the rat had jumped on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I guess somehow I got to get pictures of these guys and make a little journal of my adventures. I don't see, I make journals and sell journals, but I don't make journal and journal. I don't think I've ever journaled in my life. Yeah. Um, but that would be something fun to journal my little, my little stuff around here. It would. <laughs> that brush pen is soft. So I, I can't get little tiny areas with it. Cause I can't. Talk. Yes. This is Rosemary. <laughs> She's hiding. She was somebody hiding. actually recognized me without Popo. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm that's excited. a first for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I asked Rosemary to come and hold my hand because I, I love you. holding hands with Shannon. Yeah. You can imagine, we're just sitting there. Swinging our arms together with our hands closed tightly. Oh. Until she starts sweating, then I let go. Yeah, she lets go. It's my palms get all sweaty and gross. <laughs> oh, she's been teaching all day. Oh, I bet her studio is just like stuff everywhere to clean up now. Oh, yeah. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. And usually hers are like youngins, aren't they? That's what I understand. Yeah, I think they're youngins. So. Youngins, but she's got that big studio. Yeah. The studio we all wish we had. And she's got that thing there. She beats her paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forget the name of that thing. It even either. sounds like it's beating something up. It's pretty awesome, though. I forget what it's called. Mm. 
we're getting all neurographic because yeah. apparently that's a thing now. Oh, she had old ladies today. Oh, they probably dropped more stuff <laughs> like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Her Hollander beater. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. That's oh, that thing. It is so cool. It's unbelievable. So cool. It is. Very, very cool. She sent me some really cool paper that she made out of denim. Oh. I have a few I have not used. It is so cool. Very cool. Okay. So you get the idea. That's the neurographic uh, or how I do it. You know, I don't really. I haven't solved the world's problems or healed my soul with it. <laughs> but I enjoyed doing it. So, mm. Right. Well, I think that's all I have for today. You got anything else, Rosemary? Um, not that I can think of, unless I have surgery on my fingers, I'll be okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see uh -huh. you're paralyzed now. <laughs> uh, anybody that is new to me. Although I think most people, I would say 90% that I've seen in the chat know me or I know them. Or we know each other. But um, just want to invite you over to my lives on Wednesday and Thursday. We're always working on something fun. And, um, and what I like to do is we learn at the first of each month, we put a specific themed um, journal together. And maybe hopefully learn a few new techniques during that period of time. And then the last two weeks of the month, um, we just play with whatever. Um, but the first two first two weeks, we work on something specific. Um, this this um, this month we're going to be doing mug shots. <laughs> it's not for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you what we're doing this month. Yes, show us. If you think, oh, where did I put? Oh, if you think it's. Thank it's, you, Janet. Thank you for the link for Rosemary. It may not be your thing, and that's okay. I do a lot of things for the ladies. That's not my thing either, <laughs> but I do it for them. For the greater good. <laughs> so here is a journal we're going to be making for the month of April, starting next Wednesday. And obviously these are mug shots. Now, some of the ladies are going to go on the dark side <laughs> and they're going to talk about, you know, in their journal about, I guess, all the gruesome things these people did. I'm not, I'm not going to the dark side. My side is these were normal, loving family people and something in their life made them snap. Or make the wrong choice. Or maybe it wasn't the wrong choice. Is that society didn't accept their choice. Like maybe their children needed food and nobody was there for them. What are they supposed to do? Let their children starve or go steal a loaf of bread? Okay, so whose fault is that? Is yeah. that her fault or is that society's fault? Only you can answer for yourself. I'm not going to answer the questions. I only ask them. But anyway, so I'm going that route the behind the story. Hey, and could we use, could we use like um, mug shots of our own family? That's you know? what some of the ladies are doing. Yes. yes that's what they're going to do. They're going to do their own family and write their own gruesome story. about it. Or what they wish would happen to their family. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going for the softer, gentle side of it. But some of these ladies, they, they are not having anything to do with that. They want to go down the gruesome hole, but that's okay. That's fine. And so this is what we're going to do. Oh. It's kind of, um, I know it doesn't, it's not going to fit because it opens up into like, <laughs> into sections, but um, make you big. so even if you do, it won't all fit. That's okay. Oh, okay. You can if you want. <clears throat> Um, hover over my thing and where it says, and then have it say solo. 
cover over your thing. On that little thing. Are you on StreamYard or are you on Yeah, YouTube? I'm on StreamYard. Okay, so on that little picture of mine that's on the bottom. Uh-huh. Um, if you go over it, it should give you an option if you put your cursor over it. All it says is remove. <laughs> well, I guess we won't do that. Oh, you can go over your picture and remove your... No, I don't think... No, I can't take myself it. out. Yeah, I don't think you can do... I don't know how you do that. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, so um, we're going to do this. It's it's a... Um, there you go. So we're going to flip it out and flip this and do all this fun stuff. There's going to be a couple of freestanding little journals that come apart. And then this has some little, I won't show the whole thing because it'll take too long. But, and then this opens up over here and we have a lot of cool stuff. And so those of you that don't know what I do, I put monthly kits out, but you don't have to buy the kits to make these things because a lot of you guys have a lot of your own stash already. And so that's what we do the first two weeks of the month is we put these things together and so whether you buy the kit or not, um, you can make these because, oh, you did that. How'd you do that? <laughs> I figured it out once you're through talking. <laughs> I was busy looking down here and didn't even know that you had done that. I just now figured it out. <laughs> oh, okay, well, maybe you can see a little bit better now. <laughs> you got the floppy loopy loops. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And and to give you an idea that we don't always do the gruesome stuff, we did the B one. I just love this B one we did, you guys. It's still one of my favorites. Oh, look at that! And then what we did, um, just to make it cool, we had it light up with. <laughs> no. So, so when you stand these up, these little things, you can't see them, but they're hanging and you can move them up and down because they're, um, because you can. That is amazing. And then the ladies that weren't so much into the bees, we also had these Victorian ladies that could be moving up and down and that way they could like be dancing in the garden. We had flowers to oh put my gosh. there. So those are just an example of some of the stuff that we do. And yeah. Um, they're just fun. So, it's fun. It's different. I try to make okay. it that you learn a different technique each month. I don't always succeed. <laughs> <laughs> but but every moment I, is awesome. But I'm just sharing with you what my goal is. It doesn't mean that, that we accomplish this every month. But we do this every month. We've been, um, it was all an accident. <laughs> <laughs> It was. We. I've been doing this for um, over two years now, and I've been. Has it been two years, years, really? You no. Know, what happened was it was okay. So I hate to use the word COVID, but you know, COVID uh, was <laughs> word, word. kind of more known about, like in what was that, like February, March of 2020, right? So. When 2019 ended, I wanted to do something a little different. So I thought, oh, I'll do this little kit thing. So I did that on January and then of, of 2020. And then uh, people said, oh, I kind of like that. Are you going to do that next month? And I go, well, if people want it, I will. So then we did it in February. And then the world just turned upside down. And, you know, I think it was just timing that some people had to stay home. Some people didn't want to go out and shop. Some people wanted distraction, whatever, all, maybe a little bit of all those things, right? And so the kit thing kind of caught on, and I've been doing it since then. So <laughs> it's been two years plus four months, two years and four months. Wow. Yeah. And everyone is has a different thing, and they're all completely Awesome. Yeah, so it's kind of a cool challenge on me to try and come up with something a little different each time. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, uh, I don't either. <laughs> said, well, how are you going to do that? And I said, well, I guess it's until you keep don't want me to do it because I'm doing it, you know, for, to teach something. And, right. And so when you guys get bored, well, then you know I'll have to find something else. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I don't have, I can't even show you any of the other ones because as soon as I make them, I usually sell them. Yeah. Even the prototypes, you know, I'll, I'll sell those, but um, I don't think I have anything else. We did a really cool um, steampunk one. I don't know anything about steampunk, but it was a suggestion. And we did that. That was fun. I don't think I have any of those left. Uh, I'm looking here at my pile over here. I don't have nothing um, to even show you. But um, anyway, we have fun. So yeah. like I say, you know, you don't have to buy the kit to do this. You can use your own stuff. That's the cool thing about it. You're not locked in to. No, no, not at all. You can yeah. still. Because um, all you have, you'll, you'll see what we're doing. And then you just start looking around in your stash. And you go, oh, I have something like that. It yeah. doesn't have to be identical. Yeah. I have something like that, you know, and, and go there. It. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Anyway, so we, we have fun. And and we have me more fun because um, Susan just makes fun of me for the for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperately trying to teach something, and, and Susan's just trying to get a laugh. So well, I I can attest to how much fun it is to make fun of you for two hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> I totally get it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah. It's hard so, not to enjoy that. I guess. Oh, and I forgot the little mini one we put in there. Look at the little mini one, how cute. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. This was um in the kit also is the you know those um I don't know who made them. You probably remember. Um, but they're the covers to like um the passport type cover thing of Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it comes, you know, empty right. like that. Right. So, um, so I just put some of the stuff that was in the kit on there, and then I took one of those little mini composition things, right. and then just put some of the papers that are there in the kit on the front and the back, and then wow. some of the other papers, and then just stuck it in there. So you have like, like if you got stuff like this, you could even make just one of these little small ones. Yeah, you don't have to make the big old honky big stuff. Oh yeah. So yeah, uh, y'all get on. Oh, Frida, Mer uh, Mary's trying to think of Frida. We did a Frida one. We've done. Oh, Mary's got her whole list. She we've been done. We've done Rust. We've done ste steampunk. We've done fabric. We've done Egyptian. We've done Asian. We've done African, <laughs> Indian, Native American, Art Nouveau, and Stargazer. Man, she's she knows she's what she's talking about. It's <laughs> like she's in your brain. I'm remembering stuff that you should but don't <laughs> oh my goodness no we've done all those <laughs> she knows because she's been playing around with them yeah oh, Frida. That's funny. yeah because we did oaxaca we did oaxaca and we did frida oaxaca was fun because we got to have oaxacan chocolate because the best chocolate comes from oaxaca mexico oh so, so we played around. We had chocolate. Chocolate came in the kit so that they could have a little cup of Oaxacan chocolate while they worked on their Oaxacan journal. <laughs> Everything. That was during the winter. <laughs> we, yeah. all, we all needed something warm during the winter. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Well, okay. Well, let's see if we can get together real together, Shannon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do that. Let's get our girls over and help you clean out the studio. Yeah, I think we need to like recycle some paper and make some paper. That's the only thing we haven't done together. No, we have not. We've done a lot of stuff, but we have not made paper. This is true. I think we need to. Yeah, I think we need yep. to. That would be fun. It would be fun. I should do a Scottish one. You know, I don't know anything about scottish anything i'd have to well i didn't know a lot about anything i did i had to research and yeah figure it out yeah scottish there you go yeah i've got a list of stuff that people have recommended it's just kind of hard to figure out what to teach new with that particular subject and what to put in it you know right, right. yeah and now they want me to do something doom and gloom so we're gonna do i think like 
I don't know anything about goth anything. I don't, go, but I do know about Gothic architecture. It's one of my favorite architecture Whoa. period of time is the Gothic period of um, architecture. So um, I'll probably go in the direction of more of the architecture, but the rest are probably going to go with, you know, crows coming out of somebody's head or something like that. <laughs> 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 whatever floats your boat yeah so I'm, I'm working on putting stuff together for that right now i don't know if it'll come together but yeah i'm on the hunt good deal well i think we have had a productive day Yay. thank you so much thank you rosemary for coming oh, thank in you. look at all this fun stuff i got i know you got tons of fun stuff i got tons of fun stuff ready for the cowgirl Yes, cowgirl. cowgirl secret that's not a secret anymore. <laughs> so, um, and thank you everyone who joined us today. And that the you super chat angels, thank you so much. Um, that's kind of, I think that's all I have for today. So, um, yeah, we'll do this again. Like I said, I'm going to try to work out kind of a schedule. It'll take me a couple of weeks, but we'll figure it out and I'll I'll be back. So sure. that's we'll, it. We'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Have a good one, y'all. The end. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>